Uh, yeah, well, uh, <laughs> top story, I'll be out sick. He's got no voice. He got like uh, dengue fever, I think. Really? It's sweeping the nation in Florida. His blueberry muffins and fucking yeah. <laughs> his thousand percent brand don't help him be healthy like everybody else. <laughs> you mean to tell me people eat pork chops in the morning? Yeah. Get the same diseases as people that- who fucking eat. What? The tops of strawberries, not even the, <laughs> the healthiest part. The strawberry leaf. It's the healthiest part of the strawberry. <laughs> really? Yeah. Really? So he's he's a little ill. Uh, ill-fated. Fucking getting old man laryngitis. I thought we cured that shit. Uh, uh, this nigga's got to get his tonsils taken out. I don't know. So he's getting, he's getting, 72. <laughs> he's having teenage fucking operations. <laughs> my 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 glands, uh, mono. This nigga had mononucleosis at fifty. Uh, Enjoy shit. your blueberries at home. Oh, I'm sure he is. Yeah, it's one of those deals. And Jimmy is uh, perusing, carousing the nation, doing his uh, Jimmy Norton uh, comedy thing. So uh, today. Patrice O'Neill, the always entertaining Patrice O'Neill, and Joe DeRosa. Thank you. Are going to be uh, joining uh, me and, and of course, the lovely and talented Danny Ross and primetime Sam Roberts running the board uh, for uh, just a day of fun, hijink, shenanigans, and conversation. And since I'm the only one here... How much uh, time we got left? I know. It's like, fuck it. <laughs> Shit. I'm looking at the clock already. I'm ready to go. It's it, it's like, uh, don't bother calling. I don't take phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to be really bad. Because, you know, I just <laughs> fucking Ope looks at that board. And it's, it's going to be like fucking Jonathan from Vermont. <laughs> whoever fucking I listens just, to this show. Like, I what? hate the callers. <laughs> They contribute nothing <laughs> to this show. Hey, we got fucking John yeah. from Vermont on the phone. Like, hey, oh, you know, hey, boys, yeah. link along, girl, and oh. shut up. And then there's their fucking, there's the subject typed out of what they want to talk about, and they don't talk about it. No. I want to talk about the bias ply tires. <laughs> but you want to say something about your mother fucked you when you were five. <laughs> <laughs> no, that wasn't me. No. All right, goodbye. <laughs> Gives a shit. Oh, oh how hurt they're going to be with oh, I know. verbose radio this morning. Just sitting there, someone's fucking dialing the phone. I could contribute. Radio. No, you can't. <laughs> radio, no help. Let, <laughs> <we'll>, <laughs> let me be honest with you callers. You never fucking help. <laughs> Oh, he's, he's home right now going, oh, no. <laughs> I got to get oh, in. Oh, oh, you get me that? <laughs> Just get me there. Give me that medicine I didn't want to take. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what happened. He just got uh, ridiculous sick. I think rumor has it, not even tomorrow. Oh, like that kind of sick? He's got the kind of sick where you, when you know you can't even make it in the next He day. has fucking can't make it tomorrow already sick? He couldn't make it yesterday or tomorrow sick. That's like holy fuck. crazy. And then you got a baby, so it's like, you got to wonder, what, do you quarantine yourself from a kid? He's about to sleep in the closet works. or something. Yeah, Jesus he's got to like be sequestered. He's like Bubble Boy from Seinfeld. Y- you know, the yeah. woman ain't letting him buy the baby. Yeah. You, you know not, she's not letting him buy. You no, know that's that, that motherly kid. defense mechanism goes off. And if you go, <coughs> get away from the baby. Is Don't that, come near the baby. Isn't that nice when your wife casts you aside for something she's done for three months? Just like, yeah. <laughs> you, you've been hanging out together for years, and then yeah. something brand new comes in, and you are so second fiddle. Yeah. That's yeah. why I could never do that. I mean... Hey, God bless. God bless yeah. anybody. anybody. Maybe you should, you should have one of his, his oatmeal oh. and fucking tree bark sandwiches. I don't fucking heal him up. <laughs> Mr. Healthy. This nigga got some kind of fucking virus running through his throat. <laughs> you know, but when you, you, you're, with a, you're with a girl, and this is any couple that, that gets married and has kids. Right. It's like, I can't understand not being the guy. And then a baby comes around, and you're just like, you are now the fucking provider, but you're not first in line anymore. 
That fuck it, the the baby is first in line. Nah, dude, that's for yeah, that's why I'm ne I never. I, I don't think I'm ever gonna have a kid. Insecure. I'm too selfish. I hate the kid. I'd be like, fuck you, you little prick. I used to be. <laughs> I was fucking number one. Steadfast against being with a woman with a kid. Like it was. Yeah. Just, like my girl now got a kid. Mm -hmm. It was in. I told the day one. You know, it's like, like it's impossible for us to go further because you got a kid. <laughs> oh wow! I like really? The, I like my own furniture. In my house, you know, so <laughs> after years of, of, like, being around now, it's like she's my stepkid, you know. Yeah, yeah. But I still enjoy sometimes daddy. Like, like I'm not oh, sometimes against, daddy. like, adoptions. It, it, I can't adopt, but, if, yeah. if I, but adoptions or somebody else's kid or a woman with a kid, that doesn't bother me as much because you don't. You don't have to deal like when she making me sick, the kid makes me sick. <laughs> it makes you sick. When she, if she makes me sick to the yeah. point where I don't love her, yeah. like like I love the kid, but it's like sometimes it make you sick to like you go, I don't love this kid. This kid <laughs> sucks. <laughs> and then that four days that you don't have to love him, yeah. I'm on the where I'm on the road, and really my girl has to figure out other things other than your kid isn't. You know, I don't yeah, have to yeah. care. Like, it's not your problem. When I don't have to care, I don't have to care. And when I do, play daddy, and it's like, because before I was just like super, uh, uh, like the right guy. Like I, it was always, it was never discipline. It was never talk. It was always, oh, he's a hilarious guy. Yeah. And and it's a good thing. But it's then funny, I became Patrice. Like, yeah. But then it became like, okay, could you take your? What was like the first thing you did? That did uh, you said you go, hey, you sh take your shoes off. They're all dirty. A uh, plate from the table. A plate from the table? Here's where it changed. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where it is. Hey, take this plate. Uh, take your plate when you go, uh, you know. Get... Fuck you. You ain't my father. No, nope. she didn't do that. She never <laughs> no, did that. No. She goes, she looks at She looks at her mother. Oh. Like, like... When, like who's this nigga? <laughs> so <laughs> I, go, I looked at her do that, and I go, oh, I can't. I got to do this. So I, 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 had, I got her attention, and I was like, I'm your mother's boss. <laughs> oh, oh shit! <laughs> I'll throw your fucking mother out of here, and you gotta go with her. You said that to the kid? Uh, f absolutely. Guess what? She fucking takes the fucking plate now, faggot. How old? I'm, I'm so How tired. Old was she at the time? She might have been seven. So, <laughs> she was only she was only mostly scarable at that point. But, but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's like you see these. It's practice, dad. Like so. I can definitely say whether or not this shit works. Right. It, it's a. It's very difficult. You can experiment because yes. it's not your kid. But I said I'm your mother. Like so, it, what it is is like she. I had to establish that she has to listen to me somehow. Yeah. Because along with establishing that she, if she doesn't listen, I also had to establish that she'll I'll never dis she'll never dislike me more than I could dislike her <laughs> meaning if she yeah. if she ever was like well fuck you buddy I could I'll go well hey you know mm -hmm. I don't like talking to you anyway like right. I would have to me. always be over over yeah, that yeah. and uh you know now she says I love you a lot oh but I don't I go That's I go cute. thank you Oh, thank you. Because he pulls a fucking, he, <laughs> she's, he pulls a hot solo. Hot solo. I know. But what I you, know. Exactly. I'm trying to help her fucking not, are you? Not be trying to help her. In Lawrence Fisber, in, 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 <laughs> oh, in a porno a... called Patrice's stepdaughter, <laughs> sucks <laughs> balls. <laughs> fucking volume two. Lawrence Fishburne's <laughs> face on a fucking yeah. porno body. Oh, uh, yeah. I uh. knew Patrice O'Neill, and this is what happened to me. No guidance. Uh, None. But uh, you. Uh, but but now the other thing with with your girl though, you're the type of personality that you're still number one with your girl, right? Like, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. See, I'm talking guys that just relinquish. Well, because the kid is eleven though. Status. When the kid gets eleven, you you be you revert back I've to. I've seen a lot of fucking guys and girls that it never fucking comes back. The the children are paramount. The, the, the guy is second fiddle. He is his job is to go to work, bring home money, so mom can buy food and do this and be mom. But you've seen those those square. I think it really is a square, yeah, group that does that. Where where I get something in my gut really bad when I see a man going through yeah. this that square thing. Like one, one thing, I I had to point out to my girls that we don't have square people arguments. 
Mm-hmm. That's why I really never want to get married because I can you can maintain your cool when you're married. Like you can maintain like your money. If I'm having money problems, it's mine. And so, but if I still do some stupid shit with my money, <laughs> I, it's still my money that I'm doing your stupid money, shit right. with. It's not like, oh my god, you we're the cable is due and you bought yourself five hundred dollar pair of shoes. Like <laughs> it, it's none of those arguments, man. It's none of those. Your <laughs> child has to eat, and she's getting uh, her real father's. She's getting money out of him every goddamn mm. month, man. It's not big money, but no. it's like to be forced. He must hate that. Like if you're if you're in good standards with the bitch, right? You just have to buy <laughs> when you buy, right? Like the, for my for my dogs, it's like oh we got a wee wee pads, nigga. <laughs> Get the wee wee pad, but I don't have to supply wee wee. I can put a newspaper down, right? If I need to, but if you have to fucking do that shit, yeah, that, that makes you resent something kind of i don't have to feed her he must hate that patrice o'neill is is with his ex no, I, well, had a kid with i'm a, I'm a good guy fork over money well of i should course. hate it of course why should you hate it i feed somebody else's fucking scrotum she looks just like the motherfucker <laughs> Lawrence Fishburne. <laughs> she looks like the father really like, like it's a little piece of him walking around talking to me it's not my kid uh, that's gotta so be that's a big too, fucking then. deal yeah, that i'm decent to his kid yeah. i'm very good to her so yeah. it's like but yeah, what about, yeah, that's, you know, that's what about what you the money do. what about the money he forks over isn't that supposed to go to her oh it goes to her that's the pain and suffering, but it, but that's not enough. Oh, really? The, that's just living. When my, when I was a kid, my mother used to have a job and steal from welfare, <laughs> and I wasn't living like a welfare thief. Right. We stopped. I got busted. You know, they call them. I, I feel bad to this day, too, because I was, I was so not street smart. They fucking actually caught her. Oh, they caught like, her. Yeah, man, we speak to your mother. I go, she's not here. Oh, is she at work? Yes. <laughs> oh, thank you. Tell her this was public welfare. Thanks. <laughs> Cut that welfare off. <laughs> but it wasn't like it's supplement. So, so whatever dough he's shoveling out every month, mm-hmm. um, I don't even know what it is. I don't even ask. But it's not footing the entire bill. So then you it's come nothing. in. It's nothing. I I come in to give her some extras and he gives her he's a good dad like she's like she don't yeah she don't she just got like two dads it's a weird thing he comes over and picks her up and you two talk we at all don't t- it's been <laughs> it- <laughs> I know six that was years oh shit we talk once by mistake <laughs> and the conversation was like what up bro because it's not my responsibility. No. I'm, I really started off just popping her mom's. And she was just <laughs> breathing. So I had to feed her because I was feeding her mother. Yeah. Well, I got to take my kid. Ugh, you know, I hear some fucking chicken nuggets or whatever <laughs> she's going to fucking eat. <laughs> but as it, as it grows. <laughs> I love this. So it is she. The only time we ever talked. This is recently we just talked. Like wow. Maybe. Uh, three months ago, cause my girl had to work. I'll tell you the scenario. She had to work. He had to do something. I think his mother wasn't available. <laughs> and then I was, I was final option. I was fucking oh, shit. I yeah. was, uh, uh, uh de- it was DEFCON <laughs> five <laughs> and DEFCON five is me and him have to connect you two have to talk to do something and what was that like <clears throat> it wasn't uncomfortable why i <laughs> like you a probably... little faggot i turn off all the lights in my house <laughs> what the... and i peeked out my door like just to let him know the door was open and sent her out she was basically just like a, a package. <laughs> just slipped her out the door. <laughs> like, yeah. all right. Like I heard you go- set her out like it was a ransom, <laughs> like, like it was a, a kidnapping. Yes. <laughs> like they yes. gave you some pizza in exchange for <laughs> turn out all the lights, setting the kid it was out. So uncomfortable because we we know each other by de facto. Yeah. It's a weird thing. We know each other. He knows what I do. He's seen. Yeah. Vi- he's he, got to know you more he, than you know him. He knows me. Yeah. So, but the kid's not, she's, I'm Mr. P, you know what I'm saying? So the kid, she's never coming out, go, miss, he, you know, I know as a, as a father, you're probably waiting to hear 
Mr. P kicked me in the fucking ass. <laughs> And it, or or Mr. P came in the in the room at uh, oh, shit. Yeah, weird yeah. night. You know he's waiting to hear that shit so he can come over and blow me up. But he he's he knows that she, I take shit. care of the kid. You yeah. know. But uh, she he dropped off. But he I heard him in the car go tell Mr. P thank you. Oh. And I go okay. I open the door. You know, hey bro, what's up? And but it was <laughs> because we don't speak. And that's it. You know, like, <laughs> and, and the only reason is because you decide not. Does he want to? Do you think no, it's, he, that's not my responsibility. But do you get the feeling that he wants to talk to I you? I don't think he. I I think it, there's a lot. There was a lot of weirdness at first. Yeah. But I think he still liked. Uh, oh. I think now he's like, oh, he, I got rid of her. <laughs> now he feels like yeah. going to be fine with it. Bitch, yeah, good, enjoy. So, <laughs> and the, and the kid's crazy too. So it's like just they're too nuts. They're too really crazy. But we don't. I, I, w I, w I was very careful about being stepping on d her father's toes. Yeah, yeah, that's why I was just Mister Nice Guy, not Mister Discipline, not Mister Advice. It yeah, was. It was. Yeah. It was really. It was like touching that story about saying, "I'm your mother's boss. I'll kick yeah. you both out <laughs> in the fucking street." I mean, you played it. <laughs> but do you understand? <laughs> Mister P made me put a plate in the sink, or he was going to kick mommy and me out. <laughs> Which is, come on, that's not going to happen. But you gotta play that kind of shit. You gotta play him like you gotta play him that like way it's gonna be that way. So I would have had to really wink at her mom's and really throw her out, and yeah. just to get her right. You know what I mean? But um, <laughs> that's great, man. <laughs> but I think her father is the same kind of like uh, like my girl's so she's I don't know. Were you worried about getting kidnapped? Every five seconds as a kid. Like, <laughs> this fucking kid is worried about being kidnapped. That was big when I was That got big. I'm about seven years younger than you. That got big when I was a kid. That well, guy like, somebody's going to get you. Stranger abduction. Stranger abduction. All of a sudden at Halloween. I remember, like, my fifth Halloween, they oh, were right, like, right. break all the fucking candy bars apart. They're going to have pins in them. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, all razor blades and all apples. All that shit and got shit. really big. Somebody really fucked some people up at Halloween because that caught on yeah, really cause, quick, man. Because I do recall <clears throat> being able to do anything. And just being, you never see kids just wandering around by themselves anymore. She makes play. There's a kid. She has a friend it's that like she has to be her friend. And, yeah, yeah, they're in it's groups. It's their made-up friends. At parents' house, at other kids' houses. That you can't just you can't just ride your bike in the woods anymore. Yeah, you can't. I, you end up in a shallow grave. Remember too when kidnapping used to just be kidnapping. It wasn't kidnapping, and, and you get and fucked. Murder. No, no. <laughs> kidnapping, it was kidnapping, murder, with a it ransom. Was just, yeah, yeah it was and like just, I have your kid. Give me the money. And you'll get your kid back. And the kid comes back <laughs> with something pinned to his chest and, and fucking, fucking cold, but he's alive. Pick him up at the police station with a, a cop hat on and an ice cream cone sitting on the desk. Yeah. <laughs> like the kid little members used to treat you all right. They'd be like, you're just going to live with us for a while, yeah. kid. You know what I mean? You'd hang out at the kidnappers. And then house. it becomes you get fucked, you get fucking chopped up. Oh, if man. you went missing in BJ's. I, I remember going missing one oh, time. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and I go, uh, I'm just like... <laughs> Hey, and, elf. and somebody just gets over, you know, um, you know, uh, the, well, the parent, what's your name, kid? What's your mother's name? Yeah, yeah. Mommy, yeah. you know. <laughs> Mommy. Well, the parent, what's your name? I, I was told not to tell that. What's your name, kid? <laughs> Patrice. Well, the parent, up and, and she comes and she doesn't go, oh my God, and drop to her knees. She socks me in the mouth. Oh, yeah. For fucking drifting off. <laughs> Going off, yeah. Trying to steal Star Wars figures <laughs> and embarrassing her. But now they shut the fucking store down. It's oh lockdown. It's, yeah, whoop, whoop. things are yeah. turning. If your kid gets missing, they get to the security cameras. They see every door. The same thing. Who was walking out? How tall the fucking kid was? That, but is that, has yeah. that was that always happening? The, but no, we just no. didn't say no, shit. No, no, the same shit happened with kids. That. Excuse me, that happened with airlines. Something <laughs> bad happened, and they shut everything the fuck down. And they and they were like, lockdown. Yeah, they're like, that's it, that's it. I walked out of a store once. Uh, I, I wanted one of those stupid little balsa wood planes with the rubber band, you know? Yeah. So uh, my, my mother finally gave in and was like, okay. So she hands it to me, waiting for me to follow her shopping and go to the register and pay for it and shit. And I just, like, had it and went, I'm playing with this, and walked right out of the fucking store and just started walking down the sidewalk like I'm going home. I got no idea what home is, but I'm just walking down the sidewalk. 
<laughs> fucking like six years old with my little plane in my hand. <laughs> and uh, and she just comes running up behind me. And I, I'd gotten a couple of blocks away and shit. And she comes running up behind me, grabbed my arm, and just fucking like shook me. What the fuck do you think? Cursing and shit. Shook you or punched you? Because you're doing a punch. No, no, she's crying. Oh, she's shaking. And <laughs> shaking the shit out of me. I'm like, yeah, well, that's true. I'm going but it, home. But it wasn't you were missing. No, no. No, no in you, the store? But what are they going to do? I, they were still open for business. I guarantee you kidnappers talk about kidnapping the way we talk about airport security now. Remember, like, remember when you used to just be able to... You could go right to the gate with your family and <laughs> see them goodbye. Could, you could wake up 15 minutes before your kidnapping. <laughs> <laughs> you think it started with Adam Walsh? Uh, that was a biggie. That was I think a big, that is... well-publicized... I think that was, was the so horrible the know? kickoff, man. I think that was the kickoff because that dude got America's Most Wanted, and that was like that. Aton Pates was another one that just dis a fucking peered. And Who's that? That was that kid that uh, a lot of publicity about him. He just disappeared, never to be found again. Just and the kids just started just disappearing, and parents are like, eh, nah, what? maybe we ought to keep a better eye on these kids. What year did America's Most Wanted come out? Because I think that is the year. That's when it is oh, all. Shit. Oh, it's been on fucking Or, or, early, or the kids. It's the early the kid 80s, that? right? Uh, at maybe least 20. 30, yeah, 25. At least, at least. 86, people and they were saying. And they were canceling it one year. Like, Yeah, one year they just decided, <laughs> Matt, <laughs> you go, wait. How do you That's cancel this spin-off of Married with Children <laughs> on? Yeah. The neighbors go, wait a minute. They're catching fucking murderers. That's in hilarious. Here. Yeah. I don't think you understand there's Ravens. Hold on. I don't think you understand. They have a puppet that sits on the couch in the basement <laughs> and it talks to people. It's hilarious. We got to... <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Maybe you ought to stick with the murder or rapist catching show. Yeah. Like, like what have you seen this Nikki <laughs> Cox chick? She's smoking. Yeah. We got to get this on the air. Fantastic. Get her on. Get her on. <laughs> Fuck the dead kids. <laughs> I think that's the only sh thing that keeps you catching criminals yeah. is that show. <laughs> that criminals hate that fucking show. They I don't hate think it. they will get caught without it. No, and it's amazing they can't. And you you watch interviews with some of these uh, criminals. They can't get away from it. Like they go to the farthest corner of East Bumfuck, and there's the TV. We're looking for your help to catch you. And he's <laughs> that, just that, looking that's, at that's you. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, I watched. There's a show that comes on called Almost. Almost got away. Yeah, almost with it. got away. Yeah, yeah. Fucking great show. It's the whole show is. I got away with it. Yeah. And here's how I got. And then right at the end, caught, man. it's any crime though, right? It's not kidnapping. No, right? it's, it's it's bank it's robbery. Murder. Yeah, it's all kind murder. of murder. Yeah, it's like. But I you know, away. you know what I noticed about that show? They really make it look cool and glamorous. I was gonna say, like, because <laughs> you said rapists or, or trauma. There's no, none of them on it because the dudes are talk about it like. They're cool dudes. They're cool. Yeah. Like, I was watching one with a bank robber, and he got this uh, chick involved, got a girl involved, was able to talk her into waiting in the parking lot with a oh, radio and a scanner, and he goes in, and he's got his earphone. Like, they were a team robbing fucking banks. And you almost are like, oh, damn, like you got Bonnie it. and Clyde, this is cool shit. Like, and he's talking, and he's he's chuckling in the camera. The real guy is like, yeah, we... We took about three banks that day, and it's like three banks, motherfucker. This guy rules. What would your uh, What would your crime be, man? If you had to go, if somebody came in and they, they're like, "Radio's done. You got to go into a life of crime." What would you do? I, I really think I'd go into bank robbery. Oh, it'd be the best, right? It, bank robbery just looks fucking intense, like a fucking rush. No one, no one's getting hurt unless you're the one shooting people, unless or unless a guard shoots you. But it's like the. This bank robbery looks so it's, it's, fucking uh, adventurous. Dude. You just can't get away with it, though. No, I'm not saying you're going to get away with it, but what else are you going to do? It's fucking scam old people. Yeah. That's that's boring, old people scams. Though, man. That's and that's boring. Yeah, but you just want some money. It's just a little <laughs> bit of money. There's so much legwork. There's so much research. Like, you got to find out. You got to suck on through their neighbor's mail. You know, um, the Johnsons next door? Yes. Uh, and their son, Bob? Yes, I know their son, Bob. Well, he recommended I come over here because you were checking the mail and noticed they have a son, Bob. Now, you've got to come over to the old bag and convince her that Bob told you to talk to this woman and sell her material. Yeah. And then while you're in there with your buddy, 
Did you get a you life savings the material though? Seventy five thousand dollars in the bank. Yeah. And then the other person ransacks the house while you're blocking her view with the big bolt of material. That's fucking great. Just do horrible, Jesus Christ. horrible, That's a great one. horrible That's scams great. to old people. Would do. Uh, that would be the easiest thing to get away with. Old though. people are stupid when it comes to that stuff. They just can't figure out you're being scammed. Well, they're babies. Oh, my, dude, they're my parents. Infants. My yes, parents. Are. My they're parents are old their, babies. And shit. My parents are in their 60s now. They got a letter. They got a letter in the mail, first of all, in the mail. Yeah, in the mail. What the fuck is that? That said something like, you know, something's wrong with your bank to protect yourself. Uh, you need to reroute your money to this thing. You know, and it's this whole thing to get you to write a check and put a deposit it somewhere else. Right? They still money. And my mom is telling me the whole story. And immediately I'm like, Jesus Christ, Mom, holy shit, do I got to move back in with you to protect you? <laughs> and she, finances. she literally gets all the way up to the part in the story where they're reading the phone number to call and thinking about calling it, and my dad's got, like, the phone in his hand to transfer this money. And, and she's like, at this point, I said, Joe, we better look into this. We better just, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you, you think so? <laughs> yeah, at this point, <laughs> you got a fucking handwritten letter in the mail that said, leave $3,000 if you <laughs> Your money on this on this corner, please. But people people still <laughs> click the shaky thing when it says, you know, you get the instinct to click that where it goes. There's a there's a virus on your computer. Oh, that like a, you you have the instinct yeah. to it, click that fucking thing. W yeah, and that, and we, that the we, X we on there. It's not to get out of it. It's, when you click no, that X, X that's the, just, you, you're in. That's the clicky thing, too. They put the clicky thing on the X. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's, it's, yeah, that's, that's it's, suckers. So it's easy to scam a motherfucker. That's why if if I see something like that, I'll do the Control-Alt-Delete and go to, you know. You you, you don't use Macs. Uh, yeah, I do. You have a Mac. Yeah, so, but, but you, for but Windows, you, Macs, you can't they don't get, get viruses. You, I yeah. swear I think my Mac has a virus. It's running really? slow. I think I clicked too much foul <laughs> shit is on it. <laughs> too much foul. It's poison. Oh, yes, they do. I know Max gets some viruses, but it's not like Windows. Shut up. No, it's, <laughs> it just isn't. It so isn't. What, so what are the calls you're not yeah, going to yeah, take? That's Those the are the calls you're just not taking. That's all the fucking <laughs> things I'm not taking. You know, Max, do there's the uh, virus of 19 fucking 98 that <laughs> affected our... Uh, I've had a Mac for years. I've looked at more pornography on my Mac, oh. and and uh, nary a problem. And, and then Windows, you look at fucking uh, a Sears ad with a bra on it, oh, dude. and you're fucking infected. Dude, I, I, have a, I have a thing in my act about my PC and my Mac, and just talking about how my PC literally is so fucking afraid of the viruses that it literally shuts the it'll shut porn sites down without asking me <laughs> yeah. and meanwhile my Mac's in the corner like doing fucking lines like let's cruise <laughs> this fucking pussy dude what are we what doing do need, here man I'll hook you <laughs> like, up let's go man that's yeah. why I'm frivolous Proceed. with the Mac uh, shit because the dude told me when I bought it he said that's the reason we are the shit if we get a virus we're now just PCs yeah. If yeah. anybody figures out how to give us a virus, that's how that's how we are the shit. So you know, I just said after he told me that, I'm just I'm I yeah. click like I don't feel I just click anything. I don't feel like anything really bad's gonna happen to my Mac, no matter mm. what I click on. I don't no. feel like I'm gonna get this fucked up virus. No. Or anything, but Windows. Uh, I look at my Mac like I look at AIDS. I'm like, it can't <laughs> happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's no condom on my Mac. I'm I think I'm diving some, right in. <laughs> in some weird way, I'm trying to get a virus on it though. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's just really yeah. unprotected <laughs> anal sex with a Haitian. Yeah, you want to test it? I'm really trying to fucking get something on this Mac so I can go mm, and let everybody know. Or in my weird daydream. Like go pay me ten million dollars, you can have my fucking thing and yeah, look look what happened. <laughs> yeah, I won't say nothing. I'll sign something, give me ten mil. I don't even want fifty. I don't want even just ten you want, mil. You want it quiet? <clears throat> yeah. Give me that. And give I'll, me ten mil. And I'll give you the computer. Serious man. <laughs> I think, click anything. You think they're doing that? Steve Jobs fucking knocks on your door. <laughs> look, we found out you have a virus. We really don't need this getting out. <laughs> All right. I do a lot of fucking weird clicking, man. Yeah. On yeah. my sh on my fucking Mac, a lot of weird yeah. clicking. I've talked about it before. It doesn't matter what you start off doing. 
you will end up in pornography. Oh yeah. On the way, it just you always end up. I I go sometimes with the the greatest intentions of of you know paying bills or getting my uh, getting my registration renewed online, and and a couple of clicks in, you're like, what is that? Yeah. Click. Exactly. There's a little banner ad with girls in your area. Uh. What is that phony shit? <laughs> I'm not even, I'm going to see how dumb phony this is. And then you click it and it brings you up another page and it's like, ooh, amateurs. Yeah. <laughs> and anything will set me off when I'm online. I like if I'm actually with a girl, I can't come forever. I'm so jaded from porn. But as soon as I'm online, I'm like oh, that chick in the TD Bank ad is turning me on. I'm right, <laughs> right over to fucking two bait. <clears throat> Can I say there's some new porno shit going on? For called, what? Called tubes. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But ain't two bait? It's bigger than two bait. Yeah. There's a it, lot of them. It's like a search engine of of. Of two baits, of any sex. two baits out there, and you and they just have twelve thousand categories. How amazing is it that it's free now? D it's we went through that phase where you had to pay for everything but a thumbnail. This is a, this is a good one, Dude, but it's a. It's, yeah, remember when you'd go to the fucking porn site or the porn store and. To get the good porn, it was like fifty dollars, yeah, dude. Yeah, Thirty dollars yeah. for fucking VHS. A VHS tape with that box with the glossy pictures <laughs> on it and shit. I remember my buddy telling me we were we were in like college, dude. It wasn't even that long ago, like ten fucking years ago, eleven years ago. My buddy would buy the fifty and thirty dollar ones, and I was like, dude, I can't spend that money, man. He goes, like, dude, it's worth it to me, man. These fucking things are quality, dude. Like, <laughs> and I was always jealous that I didn't have that like resolve, like I couldn't yeah, actually get myself to get my money fork together. That money over. <laughs> yeah, I was always buying the shit like three for ten. <laughs> Awful. And it was crap. <laughs> Awful. One thing I don't want to do while I'm jacking off is get that shot right when right when the things are getting good of the guy's face going, oh, oh. The guy's face. At this point, I don't even like you know. Yeah. You'd be like, oh, I'm not gay, but at this point. You know, balls don't even throw you off no more, and you don't even think about it. it I, I, I used to throw you a little you bit. Like, you go, hey, man, you hey, know. Come on, more pussy, right, guys? But I guys. hate lesbian, I right. hate lesbian hey. porn. Um, Belladonna is the only lesbian porn I can watch, and like, because she acts like a dude kind of thing. Yeah, but so but other than that, I can't. I walk, this is how bad it is. I was walking down uh, 8th one, one time, coming from uh, my the restaurant I go over there, and I'm walking past the place where I used to buy all my DVDs, and the dude goes, uh, he runs out. So he, oh, shit. <laughs> he goes, where you been? I go, I go, dude, I can find any, you find full length. On this thing where I go, they give you an option. They go, say you go, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to type in, uh, African ass, okay. <laughs> it gives you a choice: popularity, date it was uploaded, or duration. Yeah, <laughs> and if you great. pick up the, if you click the duration, they have fucking videos that's two hours. So how much time you got? You got a minute. Or do you yeah. have two hours? Two hours. How fast do you got to do this? Yeah. You got all day to hang out with me or just a minute and then you got to run? I, jer I, I jerked off to something on the... It, 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 there was two things I jerked off to and the, that bothered me. One was in a Japanese... That bothered me when I jerked off to it, but it was so... like I, I don't know what it got me. And uh, on some level, it yeah, was, it makes you hate yourself, dude. It's like, oh nah. wow, what the fuck are you jerking off? But, but I, I, I jerked, off, I jerked off the uh, to one was two uh, Japanese girls squirting titty milk on each other in a bathtub. I don't, I don't right. know why that got me when it yeah, got why me. Why would that get you turned on at it, all? It just was weird. I that think because it instant, was serious. That would be an instant click off of it. I'd be like, what the fuck? Get the fuck. I like it was that. A, it was That's a weird it. like because they wasn't going. Oh yeah, it was just. One would squirt, and then the other one would taste it and go, "I," like dead serious. <laughs> it was very unsexual. That's what the thing about Japanese porn is very. Yeah. There's yeah. no sexuality to it. It's just yeah. a lot of weird. It's weird and awkwardness. And, uh, yeah, that Japanese and... porn has killed my boner so many <clears throat> fucking times. When I go, I'm, I'm in a mood for a nice Asian, and then I go watch Japanese porn. I'm like, God it's damn, it's so, it is clinical, man. There's no passion to it. No fucking. Uh, no, like, uh, the girl isn't like, you know, grabbing cock and just fucking. And that was only they're weeping. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. Oh. That's the whole thing over there is like, you know, res- respectful woman, servitude. Yeah. You know, act like you're crying, like you've never accepted a dick before. It's like this <laughs> fucking grizzly whore. I saw her in six videos this week. I don't buy it. Like, st- don't give me the baby in the woods routine, Carrie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we know where you've been. That, what, what was the other one that got you a little fucking shaken? Oh, sorry. It may not be anything, but it bothered me. It's a seven minute clip. <laughs> <laughs> he knows the duration. And it's, it was seven minutes of hell. I tell you. <laughs> Me and my boys thought we'd never see the light of day. <laughs> I, I can't even tell you how I got there. I wasn't looking for it. It just ended up being there. It sounds like Da Nang. <laughs> you know, like it was seven minutes, but we just saw him come in the perimeter. And <laughs> this isn't even. This doesn't sound like you enjoyed it at all. It, it uh, it uh, sorry, bro. It, it uh, it's an it, old lady is walking down the street with a with a fucking. A shopping bag. <laughs> no. And a van pulls up next to us. She's, How old, Patrice? She's she's old. How old? Shit, man. She's old. She's <laughs> Katie she's, just wrote Patrice was in the shit. Yeah, he was in the <laughs> We were in the shit. In the shit on this one, man. We didn't think we were getting out. How old was she, dude? So, like, uh, old mama son is walking down the be, street. Be careful, by the way. This Anthony. old lady oh, yeah. was walking oh, down the yeah. street, and somebody squirted a titty milk on her, and well, she went, I, <laughs> I, and then they threw her in a van. How old was she? Uh, she had to be, she could have been younger. Yeah. But, but the portrayal was, and she was an old lady. Yeah. But she could have been younger. But the portrayal was about 70. Oof. Oh, okay. I That's... knew that was going to be bad because you really danced around it. He was yeah, sitting yeah, there yeah. like, um... There's the... nothing and about a 70-year-old just... that is sexy. I don't care what it's she's It's like doing. dusk. And she's walking around with a bag. <laughs> yeah. And a van pulls up next to her. Oh, shit. And hops out the guy. He... I'm watching this, and I'm, I'm already getting ready to oh. click off, but he throws her in the van. <laughs> you can hear the thud. And <laughs> and then he throws uh, he, he he gets ready to close the door, and he throws he throws her bag in the van with her, and then like pushes her in further with his feet, and then slams the van. It's it was so like, real, real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he just takes her into a fucking garage and just f- fuck tears this lady's this old lady's panty and fucks the shit out of her, and she's just going. <laughs> Oh God! I know. <laughs> you I know. The but entire she's, seven minutes. She's fucking the shit out of this. Like, it's just some old lady. How old was the guy? He had to be. He was a big one of them big Russians. So yeah. he probably was. He's probably he looked like he was twenty eight. I must crush you. <laughs> I must break you. Russians and, will fuck any. And she, oh, yeah, he was yeah. fucking the shit, and she was just taking it. And he kept her. She had her old lady coat still on, oh. and her old lady hat. And she was old. Like an old I Love Lucy type hat on. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that Ricky makes her take Dude. back. <laughs> Viv Vance. Vivian Vance. <laughs> he threw Vivian Vance in the van. And she looked William like William Frawley it jumped was, out. You know what it was? Betty White. The other was Ray. Oh, he was fucking the shit out of Betty White. <laughs> <laughs> and it was yeah. so fucking they weird. Viv. Yeah. <laughs> Viv got raped last night. I don't think she's going to be in for the scene today, Desi. <laughs> All the way to set. They took her to a garage. They raped her for seven minutes. That was the duration. It was so weird. <laughs> Get me in bed. <laughs> Uh, he, wow, he, Patrice, that's fucking sick shit to he watch, didn't, though. And it didn't even come. I watched every no, second of it. You were waiting for a money come. shot. It was, Pussy it, felt like it, wood it chips. Just, it just uh, ended. Uh, uh, mulch. And she just was... <laughs> like, she was in character of old lady. Yeah. <laughs> but the name of the thing, the name of the, the, the site that made me feel better, because it was so well done, was uh, Horny Grannies. It's like it was a, oh, you know. Okay, so it was meant f- for that format. It was just. Wasn't like one of those sites where look at what we found and threw it up there. There's two girls. There's two girls. Brittany and Whitney Stevens. Girls, if you're listening, I love you so much. Oh. They're sisters. And they're like three years apart. And that's the thing that I was like, I should have never watched this man. Because oh, I've, 
I have followed them from their first clip up until now over their however many year wow. career they've had. And in their very first clip they ever did together, they started out just by like they, they'd grab each other's tit just a little bit. A little playful. Just uh, a little bit. Oh. And, dude, they're, they now in their videos make out with each other. They rub each other's clits. They suck each other's tits. And it's they're the, sharing cum. Dude, it's the, dude, they do the fucking, what's that called? When one takes the cum in the mouth and spits, spits it in the other it girl's out mouth? In the other girl's mouth. Dude. Wow. They are the hottest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. And it's, I'm like, I can't, like, Damn. I. Damn. I'm scarred. Watch it, though. You should watch it. Yeah, That's well, it. obviously. Huh? But That's that it? made you feel fun. It's real that? sisters f- d- being incestuous, oh, man. Sissy nigga, you bug me. Fuck you. That titty milk thing <laughs> wasn't anything, <laughs> and the other thing was so psychotic. I don't want to ever fucking go there. If I, I, I'll be a sissy. I'll be a sissy if I'm not coming to a seventy-year-old fucking golden girl getting raped in a garage van. Two cute sisters made I, you feel bad. You fucking lame. No, because they're being incestuous, and once you see that, you can't watch. Regular lesbians or anything you, you, you want to see sisters? I'm on the fucking web now, every know day. How you know type, sisters? Because they goddamn look alike. They're sisters, dude. They're sisters. They look alike. They've also it's been it's all over the fucking web. They're sisters. I want to see the, the fucking. I want to see the fucking ID. Look at them right over here. I want a DNA test. They're fucking out sisters. Of their mouths. Yeah. Do they? Let me see. Let's see a good picture. They're fucking um, great, dude. They look at could, those two. Well, those two bitches are just the same. Yeah. Ugly. <laughs> fuck you. And they're ugly. It was bothering me too. Oh fuck! Really ugly? They fucking. Up. They look like two open mic bitches. Like these them. <laughs> yeah. Them them bringer comics. They. Look like, oh shit! You bug me, Joe. Yeah. You just bug me with you're not, your story. You're not digging them. They suck. They're a little. They're just a tad out of shape. They're, they're in better they're shape now. They thin down. They were both yeah. little, the little husky when they first I don't, started. I don't mind a tad out of shape. That's cool, dude. They're the fucking greatest. <clears throat> but you see that shit now? I'm, I'm fucking typing sisters into every goddamn porn search. Oh, it's really? not healthy. You shouldn't be looking at fucking family members doing shit together. It's not right. Well, if they're gonna do it, put it on. And they're not being, you know, coerced into When you grew up, you, would, you didn't want to see two sisters? It, it, no, I still want to see it. It doesn't matter. I love Fonzie, it. Even Fonzie wanted, like, the twins. Yeah, you want to fuck the twins. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, you know. Now a family you put the show. Fu- All right, I'm fine. Patrice, you're fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <Yeah. laughs> I like the, uh, I, I'm pretty basic when it comes to smut, my smut. I like, uh. Young. Like, regular girls kind of laying on the bed. Where you could see their entire body kind of naked, kind of fucking with themselves that's the, that's a little the creep bit. That's creep in you. Is it the they're creep in me? Creep. I just like that, cause, and I like their eyes have to be looking at the camera yeah. lens, so it looks like they're looking at you. You're an old creep. That's why. <laughs> Fuck you, old lady fucking watching me. Yeah, how is I'm that creepier than sisters? I'm, well, I'm, not, judge, out, I'm not judging you. That's just like if I call somebody fat, that doesn't mean that. <laughs> Like they go, well, what about you? Well, just because I'm fat doesn't mean you're not fat. I have eyes. <laughs> I'm saying. What is the creep factor in the that? The creep by the factor way? is you're not even thinking about really smashing it. Mm. You're think it's more scientific. You're, you're looking at this girl mm. with what can I do to her yeah. eyes? It's not like oh, I want to hold her. It's more like hmm. I wonder if there's ever been a thumb right in her ass. No, nothing crazy like that. The fantasies aren't like crazy like that. It's more like uh, I kind of like you know the look. The look. It's very visual. I'm not. I'm not very fantasy minded when it comes to porno. To think like, oh, this is the next, and then that. I right. just like looking. I've always liked looking at that shit. It's great, like visual. I'm very. I'm, I'm actually jealous of you that that it's that tame. I really am. Really? Man. Yeah. I, I wish. Yeah, you know what, crazy. though? I gotta say, but man. I, I do it at the library, though. So <laughs> <laughs> pop it up there and just start beating off and on the card catalog. <laughs> I had a fucking perverted streak ever since I started whacking off. Like, I remember as a kid, like, I couldn't watch, like, like, my friends would have these, like, Playboy videos of Jenny McCarthy and shit. And I was, really? I was like, I don't, what are you jerking off to? Like, her tit? Like, like I gotta see. Oh, a, oh, really? You couldn't even deal with that? Just the tit? And no, I needed to see a to... good stiff dick in somebody's a mouth. fucking? Yeah. Boy, how hot that is right there. Which one? Right there. 
Um, ah, that's good. This is the... She's she got a uh, finger up her ass out. right there. Uh, Who is that, Danny? Oh, they're glass ones. Really? Because I never had glass ones up in my ass stars. before. Oh, wow. So oh, I, I love, love her. Yeah. Who is that chick on Brazzers? Whoa! Yeah, there's ads going. There's like, Every page you pull up, there's like ten things going on. <laughs> Dude, every time I do this show, I gotta run home and beat off after. <laughs> yeah, we, we're sexy. <laughs> so much fucking poor just coming on the bottom. Here's the psychological Mutt. profile I never did it and understand about women. Yeah, this girl uh -huh. is so. Is it is it always something happened so to them? All your homes, Why? Because she's a lot. She's, she's so filthy she can't be 22 yeah yeah and she's just she's very smashing filthy. her own finger in her asshole now this grown at this grown and you know that's a grown man knuckle yeah just yeah veins going right and up her fucking asshole there. and you're like is is it is, is she regular like can't women can they we, there's no nothing where women did i get you there's no where <laughs> women stand up and kind of go Hey, I just like a motherfucker sticking a finger in my ass. I know I, I haven't been touched funny. I'm not crazy. Yeah. I no, just, dude. It's... I just love this. Oh, shit. There now she's go. licking uh. the guy's finger that was just in her, her, dude, her poop. I mean, this girl is despicable, yeah. but, I, and I, but I mean that with love. Because like, you dirty names. And... No, it's the old, it's the old what's the matter with kids today thing. It's, it's just, what's dude. the matter with kids today? <laughs> it's just, this is just like anything else, man. They, like... It's all it's all accelerated. I mean, think about it, dude. You got a generation of kids now with the access to porn that we have. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. If you're 15 and you're looking at that shit, you're going to be a dirty fucking animal by the time you're 17. You know what I mean? Like you're yeah. like this is what you do. It was the the hunt for fucking porn years ago and yeah. now it's just readily available on your phone. And they used to on be your phone. And they used to have X to triple X. Everything yeah, is yeah. super X. You couldn't see a girl have some 40 old man finger her asshole and lick the <laughs> finger off <laughs> in the 80s? They didn't do that shit no. back then. <laughs> and here's the turn. I've been watching porn so fucking long. I don't know what's wrong. I mean, I've really been a porn watch, like a like it's been cartoons. Aficionado, yes. Um, here's what changed. The biggest change from when I was watching porn as a, as a younger youngin to now. There's no such thing as women porn stars anymore. It, it went mm. into... From Vanessa Del Rio fucking a lot of guys that you don't know to a dude's name that I know. Yeah, yeah. Fucking a lot of women fucking a lot that of I, chicks. I never heard of. Like this girl here, whoever them. she is, it's like, like who, is, yeah. who is she? She's yeah. just not a porn star. She's just a girl on a floor looking at a camp. You know, it's not, it's not, even, it's not even a girl anymore. It's the category of what she's doing. She's yeah, doing what? POV right now, and it doesn't. It's the style of what she's doing that's the that's porno. That's the star. Is, is the, the style. style. Is you don't she... look for a name. You don't look but... for that. You look for, okay, I like fucking, you know, amateur fucking voyeur. <laughs> Shit like that. But that's that's not that's not true. I saw Nina Hartley talking about that and about the web. She says the same. Sh it's, it was funny listening to her talk about because she talked about the web the way comedians and musicians talk about iTunes and all that shit. She was like, "Look, it's fucking great. You get your shit out there immediately." But every asshole with a video camera now can put himself online. But there's porn yeah. stores. It's just harder to rise to the top, like with everything else. There's still fucking. You've had them in here. What's her face? Brie Olson. Yeah, but they're they're uh, they're, uh, older, uh, uh, they're, they're older. They're older girls. They're, yeah, they're not like Jenna Jameson is a, is... 18, 19, 20 year old yeah. porn stars. They're girls from the fucking the last generation nah, of Brie Olsen's porno. like 22 years old. Isn't she? Aurora Snow. How old's Brie? She's been in here, yeah. I mean, but. But tell um, me, look, there's. Of course there's. No? No. You know, of I, course there's like. It's fucking. You, yeah, you're going to have some you know, exceptions. Yeah, but, but I'm saying as for the a most whole, part. You didn't have. A bunch of in this doing porn as a woman back in the 80s was like you were you you were a, a, a renegade oh, you know man you were yeah like, yeah I'm I'm coming in porn it's like I, this was a mm. huge a huge deal yeah now now it's like yeah dabble in some porn for a while and I can make a porn with Bree that's the thing <laughs> yeah. if you go to wherever that's a good point. wherever you <laughs> she gets paid fucking probably twelve hundred bucks yeah depending if she's big time you know two G's a a fuck right a scene you know thirteen hundred a scene and and 
you know, girls are doing so much shit. Like, like cream pies was a huge deal when I came. <laughs> now cream pies is <laughs> it's old. Hat. Cream pies, cream, like girls are taking it. Like they're yeah, just taking yeah. cum. Anywhere, <laughs> anywhere it comes, anywhere it's it come, amazing. They're just taking cum and they're taking, and it's these these bukakis and these gangbangs. But it's, you never thought of getting a porn star like that. It was actually in the realm of possibility to fuck a porn star nah. growing up. You're right. And looking at the magazine You're now, right. Patrice is right. If you got enough money, situation, whatever, you, you want to film a scene with her. Uh, and all you gotta do, question. all you gotta do is come off professional. Yeah, like they're not prostitutes. Right. Like if you go, hey, listen, I give you how much you make for scene. Oh, blah blah blah. Oh, I will give you that right now. So my dick over. It's it's, it's well, insulting. You know it. You're getting your those chicks. Uh, and the, yeah, the, the, remember when porn stars used to have to work the road? Like they'd go to the fucking. <laughs> they would like be like comics. Yeah, they just yeah. work working the road. <laughs> there was a club in my college town called Al's Diamond Cabaret, and it was just this Sounds little great. strip club in fucking Redding, Pennsylvania. Redding, nice. Which you know, no no hate on Redding, but Redding's not a metropolis. You know no. what I mean? And strip club, there was goddamn porn stars there dancing when I was in college. Like, <laughs> like, and I mean, like, who's the chick that was married to the guy from Biohazard? Uh, oh, Tara Patrick. Like, like Tara, Tara Patrick, Patrick level. She might have even fucking been there, but like, you just feel like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like these chicks got to go out and fucking hammer the goddamn street, <laughs> dancing and it's taking fucking... pictures with disgusting guy from yeah. the clubs. That's the thing with porn now too though. Porn is like porn is like everything else in the culture. Like there's no fiction anymore. There's no line between reality and fiction. Everything is real. Like if you watch one of those fucking like, you know, you know, some porn from the 80s called like Notorious or some shit like that. Yeah. And you find a clip online it'll say it'll say ant Niece and aunt scene from No Toy. And you watch, you go, those bitches are the same age. They're yeah, not an right. aunt and niece. niece and aunt. And if, there's a storyline, a little storyline. Yeah. If you oh. find the clip now and it's like mom, daughter, you're like, that's the fucking mom and the daughter. That's real. They look alike. <laughs> yeah. There's family pictures in the behind them in the fucking back. It's all fucking completely real now, man. Uh, I had a good. I had a good. Way. This is a category, drooling cream pies. <laughs> very specific. Yes, very specific. And that I'm a big great. drooling cream pie fan. I, I, you know, I, 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 I jerked off to um. Oh, Jesus, to not, she's great. Not they do these things called not your something. And they do a, a sitcom version of it. Uh, not this ain't your. This ain't good times. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck It is was that? phenomenal with people playing. Uh, somebody was playing Florida. Somebody Are was playing James. Me, and it turns into somebody porn? was playing JJ, and they was doing the characters. Huh. And JJ's like Jimmy Walker every, was actually playing JJ. <laughs> yeah. <in> Everybody was <laughs> doing <laughs> their fucking little thing that they do, and he's like, "Hey, I got to paint your ass, right? I'm gonna <laughs> paint a picture of your ass." And then, and then the girl's like, "Well," he goes, I, "But I, no, you got to pull your panties down just a little bit more, you know, dig it." And she, she says, "Is this better?" And it's just like he's like, "Oh, much better, dynamite." <laughs> and course, then dynamite. he starts fucking, <laughs> you know, or Thelma. I've never heard of this shit. <laughs> this ain't the Cosby's. This ain't good times. This ain't married with children. Is it close? Do they get like Jesus Christ? Bra this ain't the Brady Bunch. Do they get the actors like close, or is it just like the close? Yeah, there's a bitch had the Florida wig on, Jay, and she looked like Florida. What's JJ fucking Thelma? Jane? Selma was sucking Bookman's dick because he was going to throw him out the house. So she's like, is there anything I can do to stay? And, and, and uh, he said, I'm going to throw your whole family out. And she says, is there anything she I can do, Bookman? Buffalo she had to dick. suck Buffalo Bunch dick to stay in. <laughs> Jesus Christ. JJ is getting his dick sucked. Oh, that's uh, great. Uh, James and, and uh, James in Florida was fucking... That's oh, it's tremendous, man. Hysterical. Yeah, they this do look ain't like it. Good times. This How do they get away with right copyright here? infringement? I don't know. <laughs> Who's suing them? Where the they, fuck? Who do you? Like, who, you think Norman Lear would come up and go look? Where do you go to Van Nuys, California? To <laughs> they just pack up <laughs> evasive angles? Will be in fucking Florida tomorrow. Oh my God, <laughs> man! It's so hot, man. It's night. It's so. 
I guess Fuck him. Original Bill soundtrack. Ca- Bill Cosby must have had a fucking stroke when oh, he heard about yeah, This yeah. Ain't the Cosby. Oh, well, Jesus the dude Christ. that does This Ain't the Cosby's is a is a comedian who does Bill Cosby. Dude. Really? So you got to find This Ain't good? the Cosby clip. Find some clip. This Ain't the Cosby. Please, God. Which, which comedian? Thomas. <laughs> Thomas Ward. Fantastic idea. I've never heard of Thomas Ward is Cosby, but he doesn't fuck. He doesn't do any fucking, but he plays Cosby. Because Thomas's whole thing was, we would go, nigga, you look like Bill Cosby. And he hated that shit. So he did anything to not be Bill Cosby, but he does a great Cosby impression, and he looks just like Bill Cosby. And he's like, she's in the bed, and he's just like, you. And and there's a bunch of porn stars acting like Rudy God, and dude. acting like. Oh, shit. You got to find it, man, Danny. Oh, I got to hear a clip of this. You got to hear him. Talk about a dude tapping out, too. He couldn't stand it when they said he, he looked like Bill his, Cosby, and then he plays Bill Cosby in a porno in his, movie. In his brain, <laughs> Fuck it. All right. I in his like brain, a, Joe. He he, it's acting somehow to him. Oh, it's an acting gig. He yeah. thinks because he didn't fuck that this is show, showcasing. Yeah, he got a show. He was on the AVN Awards. <laughs> would you do that? Would you do a straight role in a porno? I would do that as a goof. Let me, listen, at this point in my career, <laughs> it, they would know it was funny. That just fucking. I would never show my though. dick on film. Oh, that, you gotta. Cl- that'll wreck you. You gotta find it. Will it though? Yeah. Oh, we don't see the. It's right after the one with the foot on the girl's head. Dude. I mean, Anthony, is it any worse than me watching E Rock smell Bobo's dick on it's the like radio? Right? Uh, yeah, I know. It's, it might, it's might just something up. different about radio. It, I think it ruins. Like, who is there? Was been a couple of people that have done that stupid fucking uh, girls gone wild thing. Stan Hope did it. Stan Hope did it. Yeah. And when I watched it. I was like, ah, oh, and I even told Doug when he was in, I'm like, you did that Girls Gone Wild thing? He goes, yeah, that sucks, man. Hey, and there's the, there's the, that's the guy. Oh, no. Look at this fucking. He does look like Cosby. What the fuck is he doing, man? <laughs> and then he's just going like, but he's, a, mm, he's a comedian. Rudy's getting the big yeah. cock in her ass. She's little... sucking dick. What's going on? Oh, look at this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The wow. Huxtables love to fuck, dear. Oh, wow. Dude, you gotta see the scenes, though. He's, yeah, I absolutely have gotta see that. He's fucking hilarious. And then Rudy fucks. He gives Rudy a, like, you know, you can't, you gotta go to school. And she goes, and she's sucking dick when the family goes out. She pretends to be sick or something. <laughs> And then the family goes out for like a family outing and they leave, they leave like Vanessa, the Vanessa girl home and she sneaks a guy in her room and fucks the shit out of him and everybody. And then Cosby comes in and goes, you know, I'm home, I'm honey. Wait, is that really Bill Cosby or is that the porno? That's That's the porno porno guy. That's him. Uh, Crank it up. Let's see. He looks, dude. We didn't get sued the first first time. time. Oh, Wow. wow. And there's the family. But look who plays uh, (laughs) Theo. Theo. And he's the guy who's doing the Cosby dance that he does in the beginning of the show. Oh, my God. That guy looks just like fucking Dude, Thomas Ward, if you said he looked like Cosby before he did this, he'd knock you in the mouth. The, the beginning looks just like the beginning of the Cosby Dude, show. Dude, I literally couldn't tell him and Bill Cosby apart. I no. thought that was actually Bill Cosby. Thomas looks like Bill Cosby's son. Uh, you can, and then they just gonna start fucking. And he doesn't bang Mrs. Hux, Huxtable in it. He doesn't fuck. Does Hux, Mrs. Huxtable bang in it? Yeah, I I didn't see the whole uh, thing, but I know. Uh, is that Rudy? I, that's, Van- that's, oh, Vanessa. that's Vanessa. That's Vanessa. She always said the yeah the. Br- Ru- oh, that's Rudy. No. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> How old is Rudy? Rudy's probably eighteen or nineteen. <laughs> Terrible. She's just oh, teeny. My God. <laughs> Oh this my and god. The older, yeah. the, the guy fucking what's his face? Who was the light skinned husband? The older sister. What was his name? Isn't that Elvin? Oh. Elvin. They crack, got fucking Elvin in it. Oh, that's as loud as it goes. Well, how did Theo do on his first day at the office? He was spectacular. This is an examination table. It is not a toy. And I don't want to see you riding it like a bull. How often do you get laid? Not a lot. 
Theo. That's Theo. Theo's eating pussy. And that's cockroach. You all alone with a beautiful naked girl from Spain. My man. <laughs> Eighties <laughs> dance. I need her to help me fix this, this puzzle. <laughs> he goes, where did Rudy go? <laughs> She's upstairs taking her panties <laughs> off and <laughs> sucking dick. Can I sleep with you tonight? I thought I was going to get a little chocolate pudding. The last guy that didn't show up for work, he ended in the bottom of the Hudson River. I'm sorry to bother you when you're studying, but I'm in a bit of trouble. Strippers, prostitutes. That is uh, that's Lisa Bonet. Right. Lisa Bonet character. Jesus Christ. He's a chip off the old block. That guy just does a ridiculous Cosby. And they got the whole set. This is like high budget, dude. This ain't good times. Is even better. That is just. There you go again. And the nigga Amazing. comes in the bitch's mom and goes, Dino my <laughs> What's his face? Looks like yeah, sitcoms.com. Uh, oh, oh, here they go. Sitcoms. Oh, sitcoms. <laughs> you know, uh, they just ran out of ideas and, and somebody thought this'll be great. Ma not not Mash. Not the Brady's. Not the Brady's. I think they have to say that maybe not to get sued. Yeah. Oh man. Not Charlie's Angels. Uh, I'm I'm stunned. I never thought there was this category. Was oh, that not the Brady's? Yeah, sitcoms. That looks oh, like not Charlie's Angels. Not Charlie's Angels. You can't. The, wait, it's a, it's a, there's a there's an announcement. The leading ladies have been announced for not Charlie's Angels in the porn in the porn industry. Oh wow, must yeah. have been a big day. Oh, it was yeah. big big time, man. Big time to be announced <laughs> as one of the angels. Yeah, it's... I wonder who got Bosley. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at that guy. That guy could have been a real actor. Not airplane. Triple X flight attendants. God, yeah. this is a huge fucking little category. Yeah, they they started not the big the big one is not Sitcoms. not married with children. Yeah. And and the dude the dude who played he won Best Actor I think this year. Oh really? The guy who played Bundy. Yeah. Was fucking funny. Al. He fucking he said I'm gonna play this shit and do it well. I'm really gonna fucking play it up, <laughs> Al Bundy. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> It, it, it's it, uh. now I'm gonna be looking at these fucking oh, things. Oh, they're hilarious! You can't dude. top that Cosby one, man. It's so wrong. It's so fucking <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Rudy just that. looked too young and married with children had actual <laughs> porn stars. <laughs> Not married with children. The guy, yeah, the guy who <laughs> plays fucking Bundy is hilarious. Wow, they really Peg, kinda, man. Peg looks like Peg. They use the same logo and everything. Like, how do they fucking not just get sued? Because it's out there. It's porn. They, they're so, it's such a hustle that who are they going to sue? It's like boiler room stuff. They go to serve a subpoena and the warehouse is empty. You know yeah. how many fucking parents, uh, their kids are like into porn. It's like they they want to stop it. But this, yeah. how do you stop the porn industry? There's, oh, guess. there's a law that, there's a law that states if you create something that's obviously meant for parody, it's not copyright infringement. It's not mm. stealing. You can't get sued for it. Not the Cosby's. Uh, yeah. But so, they, I mean, they this is obviously... They got your boy uh, Max uh, Hardcore. Oh, Max Hardcore got nailed. Uh, and, yeah. and cartoon porn... They were on the attack for cartoon porn. Oh, because children yes, will look at the for, for, pretty for colors. The whole thing. And... But Max is like anything that's depicted... Like you can't have chicks running around with pigtails, and, yeah, yeah, and all that shit because it's like it, it's depicted as yeah, it's fetishy stuff, though, right? It's obviously, but they got his ass. He's in jail for that shit. Yeah, yeah, amazing. So, uh, well, uh, let's go jerk off for a little while. We'll take a break. We'll I'll tell you, I was thinking about we'll you the other day in Cleveland. Off. By the way, oh yeah, I wanted to tell you about what oh, I was thinking about. Damn, we we'll, you know, we'll talk talk to you about it. Right. <laughs> it, was, it had something to do with the computer, too. Oh, no. Nice. I wasn't jerking off to you. No. <laughs> and uh, uh, a couple of, a couple of uh, things I, I found interesting is this fucking Lady Gaga, as I call her, Lady Gaga. I'm sick of her. She's fucking... Bugging. Now I'm completely fucking... I've had it with her with her p political stance now on the... Uh, on the Mexicans and Arizona shit. She starts yelling that shit from the stage and... Like, who the fuck is she to even know what's going on? Well, what's she yelling? Dunce. Uh, well, she's against it, and I'm asking people to uh, protest the bill. And say, well, what is she? You're, you're a fucking dummy that dresses up stupid. So I, I, de I definitely want to want to hear uh, 
So we have some of our comments. That's the fucking hate her. Who was the funniest retort? You go. Who the fuck is she to comment on this? What the fuck? Does she, you're a dummy. You're stupid. <laughs> yes. I like being concise. <laughs> here's my here's my stance on Lady Gaga. She's a cunt. Yes. <laughs> fuck her. Anthony's like, fuck that bitch. She puts a fucking funnel on her head and dumb glasses the, made out of a rabbit. She has the right to have an opinion, Anthony. Uh, yeah, but not the right to have it fucking played on every news thing and... It's bullshit. This is what I hate about her. her. It's her dumb character she always does, and then people go, "It's it's music. It's it's fantastic." And I go, "Yeah, yeah, yeah but it's annoying." They go, "Well, Bowie did it." No, no, no. Bowie did it for one album as a character yeah, after as a he was character. David Bowie. This fucking dumb cunt is walking around wearing tinfoil hats all yeah, the fucking she's time. And she's being this character all the time. Oh, she bugs me, man. Yeah, she doesn't go home and act like this. Stop. And then I I just love to hear the the Mexican thing. She she probably knows so much about it. Uh, we'll do that, and I'll eat my sandwich, and we'll be right back after these words. And now the Opie and Anthony show is now back on this virus. Serious XM. Uh, yes, it is indeed the Opie and Anthony show with a very loud bed. Bow, bow. Yeah. Fucking egg. Uh, hope he's not in. We talked about that earlier. He's a little sickly. A little sickly. So we got Joe DeRosa and Patrice O'Neill here having fun with the rest of our wonderful cast of characters like Sam and, of course, Danny and Travis or T Storm. Oh, Travis is in? Yeah. Hey, buddy. T Storm. I what know, a, I yeah. see Travis through. There's a lot of glare. Sorry, bro. Yeah. What a controversy I've uh, whipped up with. Um, we, we'll talk about your, your Evo. <laughs> oh, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. We can't right move on until he explains his Evo. Yeah, I got please. no problem with that. Can we, Joe please, Joe, tell him, was talk so, about the Evo. so proud during uh, break uh, to talk about his Evo. He said, I got the last Evo. No one gave a shit. Well, so it's, uh, I'm you listening, dude. I'm stole let me the virtues become of the a, Let me get my uh, ice evil. water ready. I got to listen to this. It's become, <laughs> apparent, uh, it's become apparent to me that uh, when something nice happens in your life and you want to share it with your friends, they choose to mock and ridicule you. That's the way you guys want to live your lives. That's your business. Yeah. Right, enough of your fucking diversionary tactics 101, yeah. bitch. Talk about the evil. It's a great yeah. fucking phone. It's got the biggest screen. It's got an HDMI out. You can plug it right into your TV and watch it. All the shit you shoot on your phone, your videos, all that shit. Watch it right on your TV. Mm -hmm. It's got uh, voice. I'm going to tell you, a good it, spit type. slurp is never good in your presentation <laughs> for your <laughs> shitty <laughs> fucking <laughs> uh, uh, HDMI, <laughs> analog buttons. Who gives a fuck? Joe, let me ask you a question real quick. Do you, ha do you have a mini HDMI cable? Yes. Uh, and you carry it around with you so that you could go to friends' house and I, uh, <laughs> I keep it on my person. I uh, I have a utility belt that's in one of the compartments on it. Evo. <laughs> the uh, uh, it's a fucking cool phone, man. So you talk into it. It types what you're talking when you talk into it. I got an app that does that. The screen is fucking insane. It's here's what Joe's an amazing high res screen on here. It's a four G thing. It's you know it's a fucking four G. Wow. It's a cool and fucking who, phone. Here's what Joe fucked up. I'm with Sprint, so you know no oh. one would have cared. If he had just went, as people are talking about, f like, phones that people care about. Yeah. And you go, what kind of phone you got, Joe? And he goes, I had the Evo. Then, then people go, oh, what's like, that oh, phone okay. like? But he goes. Is it good? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's good. <laughs> Drum roll, please. Yeah. <laughs> like fucking Kong Island. Everybody, <laughs> oh, oh, I got the last Evo in town. He's looking at Sam like, fuck your stupid Apple iPod. Uh, fuck that. <laughs> last evil last baby one. and no one gave a shit like it wasn't even me and sam had a look like like what <laughs> did he just say like, it, is, is that a phone i didn't even know it was a phone short I, I, for evolution of what i want you to Eat go a dick. <laughs> i want you to go and look at best buy's new ad for them being cell phone carriers uh -huh. and right center stage of all the phones in that ad is the fucking Evo. The Evo. Not the iPhone. Well, where is yours? There's no way I'm showing it to you. <laughs> Somebody's going to throw it against the wall. You know what? I no. just got it yesterday. You do no. have it. Pull that shit out, nigga. No. Come on. Pull it out. You can hold it. No one's going to smash your fucking phone. We're adults. 
Nobody no, really? It. We're adults. We're not going to smash your phone. That's just like egregious stuff, okay. dude. Okay, the design is very iPhone looks like looking. an iPhone. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful big screen. Look at this time and weather on the home screen at all times. Uh huh. Updated. And now, how does that move? Let me see. How, does that move very nicely? You got and I have a rotary oh, phone. Oh, I can do that now. Oh, Seven little, screens. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Where are your apps? Uh, these are the only apps I have right now because I just got it. <laughs> it's kind My of evil apps. Yeah. Look at this. What's that? Full page of friend stream. I, anything I update there goes all to my shit. Now you have that app on your. This is what, yeah. one of the cool features with this. Oh, all right. You sell have. Me, sell me, bitch. You have these apps you on your iPhone. Name these phones. But yeah. the capability of making it a full screen that you just flip to and not having to open the fucking app and go in and all that bullshit. Let me tell it's you awesome. who these phones. Just, yeah. just stop. For Watch a this. Watch this. Pinch the screen. You sound Boom, like a drug addict right now. Like this. Right <laughs> oh. You sound it's like a, a cool homeless man power. ranting. <laughs> Let me tell you what these story. phones are. And I hate, fuck the iPhone. And I'm going to tell you these phones are. They are fuck the iPhone phones. Like, <laughs> they're, they're, they're yeah. made for people who want to stay underground with their technology yeah. and go, Ugh. oh, fuck this iPhone. Like, people who don't wear Nikes. They so they wear fucking. The iPhone. They look for you? better. They, so they made this phone. As the iPhone, in case you're anti-iPhone. Right. But if you're anti-iPhone, you buy a BlackBerry. Do you have a pontification yeah. about everything yes. in life? <laughs> it's just, it's a fucking now, phone. It's, no, it, but you fucked up because you didn't make it just a phone. You actually pulled it out and said it has the actually, H, You said HDMI. You know where I fucked up? And you have Sprint. Well, you can't even... You yes, have to sprint. You have to stay in New York. I fucked sprint. up staying friends with you. Sprint. <laughs> sprint. Sprint is for children. Do you? No. It's got better. No, 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 no. Uh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. If you don't have a card. It's got if better. If you don't have a card to put in your phone, a fucking SIM card. That's for children. No, AT and T's the only people that's and T Mobile the only ones that still use SIM cards and they have the worst carrier still maps not, ever. They, Verizon is the best service on the planet. Verizon doesn't have SIM cards. AT and T covers ninety seven percent of the country. I have AT and T stinks. I haven't had a problem. Have, there you go. Everyone's bashing AT and T. I have not had a problem. But you with don't leave New York a lot. I leave New York. York. I got AT and T. Yeah, yeah. My not service not much though, man. Because I'm you know my I'm service is highly shit, mediocre. Enough. It's yeah. on the it's the highest level of mediocre. Sometimes uh, it will fuck up. I'll tell you wh how often it fucks up. As often as every other fucking service I've ever had. I've never had a cell phone that didn't at some point fuck up. Right. Sprint service, almost zero drop calls. I'm paying seventy eight dollars a month and you know why zero everything. drop calls on your No block. one's on the network. <laughs> yeah. Three no people. <laughs> why do they have four G? They can still have <laughs> one G. What's that other one that's before? GPRS and then what was the next edge. one up? Edge. He still, <laughs> he still, he still edge make Edge and calls. Gets great fucking reception. And I'm telling you, I don't even see Sprint commercials no more. Their commercials now they the used to be elaborate. Are on constantly. They just go. They just go. Hey man, we got the. <laughs> you got the droid. I'll see you later. You want proof? <laughs> All right. How about this? Here's here's my here's the closing of my argument in defense of this phone. And to me, you guys should know this is proof of how good it is. The weather Bobby, and time still on. <laughs> Bobby fucking Kelly, oh, and you know what a Mr. techie Mr. key High is. Tech. That fucking dude yesterday goes, dude, this is hands down the best phone on the fucking oh, market. Oh, really? If I was not Dr. Robert app, Kelly <laughs> made his official die. Fuck him. Dude, Look who's talking. Hands down, dude. Fuck him too. Look his... who's talking. And you threw a golden rosary around your neck this morning and started fucking up. Uh, uh. Bobby Kelly said, let me, let me tell y'all what let me the thing you. with Evo is. This thing is, first of all, he said, this thing is the balls. This yeah. thing is the, ba it's the balls. It's the balls. Oh, it's it's he 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 has an iPhone and he ain't getting an Evo. Yeah, he loves his iPhone. But that's he goes he goes, dude. I swear to you, if I wasn't such a fucking Apple junkie, I'd have this goddamn phone on. What Sprint. did he need from you? Bobby's a nicer what guy. Did he, need? <laughs> he needed something from Bobby's you. Bobby's very. He, he wanted half of my hot he dog. Is. He's a nicer guy. Bobby doesn't want you not to like him. So he'll Bobby, say things. I'm telling you, that fucking dude, dude the was going to buy... Tech, dude, it's fantastic. He was going to buy your Evo from you? Stop it. I know what you're doing, and I'm letting Wait, you Wait, he was going to buy your Evo from you? I let this fucking cocksucker <laughs> get in my head. I let this fucking... Co Every fucking time I come in here, I let him get in my fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, Joe, it's like the I'll, day that you were sitting there. Go, I was going. I like this Alfred Hitchcock movie. And you're going. Alfred Hitchcock is talentless. He ain't <laughs> shit. 
<laughs> Who listens to that? Who listens to somebody say Alfred Hitchcock ain't shit? And I, I, people actually was like, fuck you, you. I go, do you really, do you understand there's some opinions you can't have? One, that Bob Marley's not the best reggae guy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Two, Richard Pryor's not the best comic. Even if you don't think he is, yeah, yes, you, you just don't have an opinion. No. Three, Alfred Hitchcock is the greatest suspense guy ever. <laughs> I said he sucks. I said the birds suck. And there's some people who upset. Oh, well, I got hot. At that day. We, we now have to take a phone call because it's Bobby Kelly, everybody. Uh, <laughs> Bobby Kelly's been listening in. And uh, Bobby, how you doing, man? Uh, What's up, man? Shut now, up. Uh, Joe DeRosa. I'm going to start now by telling you to <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> Joe DeRosa started talking about his Evo phone. And, uh, and, and, you used you as the endorsement to make us all go, oh, well, Bobby Kelly said it's good. Did you say, and I quote from Joe DeRosa, dude, that is hands down the best phone on the market. <laughs> I didn't say hands down. He said it's the best. You said hands down. I didn't say hands you down. You said hands down. Did. Don't make me pull the tape. Travis, he pull said the hands tape. down. I've never said the word. I've never said hands down. <laughs> Let me see. Do we have it? Travis, do we have it? Give me one second. All right. We'll give Travis a second, and I want to fucking... Do you, this is a radio but, show. It's recorded. You can't say you didn't say something. I can say whatever I want and assume you won't play it back. <laughs> oh, I will. Oh, I'm a vindictive douche. I will absolutely no play it back. <laughs> Bobby, you did say it's the best phone in the market, though, and you said if you weren't such an Apple junkie, you'd have it. I said it is the it is the best phone on the market, but if I wasn't such a phone, yes, absolutely. But I didn't say hands down the best now, phone in the market. Now, Bob, universe. why is it better than the iPhone? It's not better than the iPhone. You said, but you just said it's the best phone on the market. The iPhone's on the market. As opposed to the iPhone. The only thing that sucks Oh, is second to the iPhone. No, he didn't say that yesterday, well, and he, he added that now. now. He added it now because he's cramping up. He's throwing me under the fucking bus because you got him on the coals right now. All right, hold on, hold on, Bobby, Bobby. Uh, let's hear the clip and hear if your quote was hands down, according to Joe DeRosa. <laughs> it, it, wait, 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 time out. Yeah, it yeah. was because Joe's standing up now <laughs> with his hands on his hips like fucking sweat. Perry Mason. <laughs> Get ready to defend himself. You are fucked right fucking here, my friend. Douche. Because I remember wanting to call you out on saying hands down. So uh, let's listen to this. Travis, go ahead. Here's, my, here's the closing of my argument in defense of this phone. And to me, you guys should know this is proof of how good it is. The weather Bobby, and time still on. Bobby fucking Kelly. Oh, and you know what a techie Mr. key Mr. is. Tech. That fucking dude yesterday goes, dude, this is hands down the best phone on the fucking market. <laughs> I rest my case. I rest my case. You guys. All right. No further questions. Now, did that sound like, did that sound like it wasn't like... Quote and he should have yes, yes. quote and quote. quote. And he, he said it hands is. down because he emphasized hands, hands down. Yes, yes. Hand, so, now, Bobby, did you say hands down the best phone on the market? I've never used that. I've never said yeah. that in my life. Hands down. Unless you said my hands are down this retarded girl's <laughs> panties when I was fucking thirteen and we hit her on the head with a rock. <laughs> you sick fuck. <laughs> So what is the what Bobby? What is the Evo actually? Yeah, Bobby, what? give us a little info. The Evo is Sprint's uh, answer to the iPhone. It's 4G, which is around 20 times faster. But the only thing that sucks is they only have 4G in eight states, and New York isn't one of them. You have to go to Maryland or Baltimore if you want to use the phone. But it 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 has the only thing that I really like it has a kickstand on the back. That's about it, but it's pretty much a mini. <laughs> can we see the? Can we see the uh, kickstand, kick please? Stand. Can we see your fucking uh, Evo? This yeah. is short for evolution, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Can we see evolution. your kickstand? Oh, oh wow! Like kickstand. Bobby. Does it have a stylus? Oh. Bobby is fuck is lying right now. Yesterday he sat oh. in my apartment. He goes. He goes, dude. Look. Don't worry about that 4G shit. Did you hear? They just added California. Oh. He's fucking talking about it. Dude, dollars to donuts, the best phone on the dollars market. Dollars to donuts. Dude. <laughs> dollars to dollars donuts. To donuts. <laughs>
<laughs> when you want to talk nuts and bolts, dude. You know, dude. <laughs> In a weird way, I think Bob is setting this nigga up. I know, because Joe feels betrayed right now. Yeah, yeah, nobody is. They put a lot of elbow grease into this phone, dude. You know what? <laughs> Joe feels like Dan Gilbert from the Cleveland Cavaliers. <laughs> you got fucked. <laughs> oh. Bobby just went to Miami. It's just it's just one guy <laughs> rolling me under the bus after another. Get him under the fucking back tires. Uh, so he just... said hands down, Bobby. So you didn't say I if never... you if you didn't have an iPhone that you'd be right on this Evo. Is that is that a fact? Absolutely. If I didn't have the You iPhone, would change the sprint and buy this Evo. If I didn't have the iPhone, I would have that phone because that phone is uh, it's the iPhone. The iPhone. <laughs> it's better than the iPhone and, and the camera. Certain things are better, but the battery life lasts. And I told you this, Joe, lasts like three minutes because it's a fucking it's a forty two inch plasma TV. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I had I had no problem with the battery but life yesterday. I played with it a lot, but let's let's go on record here. And Sam fucking heard it. He oh, just man. said it is better than the iPhone. He and, just and, said and, that. And I did not. I In certain it, ways. He oh, backtracked. Okay. And, okay. He amended it. Joe is not going out like this. Nah, nah, if this was really, the court system, yeah. he's already going to jail. But luckily, this is civil court where he yeah. actually can. He's he's actually pulling. Go ahead, Sam. He's don't pulling it off. Don't front on him. Be honest. He, he amended it after you made a fucking face, you cocksucker. You saw it. <laughs> he hadn't finished his sentence yet. Bob Kelly said better than the iPhone in certain ways. You know what, Sam? You, Fuck Sam. you too. <laughs> Thank you, Danny, yes. First of all, I'm, I'm I'm in my trailer. I'm filming Kirby Enthusiasm, Ooh. and the guy, I got in trouble because you fuck it. I had my thing on speakerphone listening to you. Dirt balls talk about porn for the last fucking hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good conversation. The, the, the best porn that I saw was where, and this was a, looked like a real, real movie, like a real, uh, like you know, like it was uh, what, like a uh, whatever you call it. But the guy was talking to these girls, and they got this girl to suck this guy's cock to go into a shed, and whatever cock comes through the door, the hole, she sucks. Then they went to her brother and said, "Dude." Uh, this is a girl that sucks cock. All you have to do is put your fucking cock through the hole. So he goes over in the woods, sticks his cock in the hole. This chick's sucking his dick. I seen this. And then, she, yeah. and then she comes out at the end, and she's like, "Oh my god!" And they saw each other. It was brother and sister. She just sucked his her brother off and swallowed his load. Was it real? Yeah, was that. it real? I just saw that. Yeah, was it real? Kind of, it, it seemed a little. Yeah, it's a little odd, huh? Ugh. But the reaction was the fucking best. And uh, fuck, Patrice, I'm with you with the old lady. I actually banged one in real life. They're fucking uh, nice. Uh, I'm uh, gonna yeah, watch that. You gonna get in my... trouble talking this way in front of Larry David? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Well, Look well, at you, you potty I'm mouth. Listen, I'm hiding down clever. an alley in a fucking between two buildings right now talking to you assholes. <laughs> I talk to you in front of these fucking people. I don't know. I even know you guys. Uh, Bo Bobby, uh, so verdict is uh, it's a good phone if it wasn't an iPhone. Yeah. If you can't afford the iPhone... Yeah, get it. Oh, it's more expensive. Yeah, and, oh my like god. god. He's you have a fucking middle X phone? <laughs> this is what Bobby does. Bobby is your best buddy when it's your Bobby. Joe, so, if you can't afford an iPad and an iPhone, you get the that one, it's the mixture of both. Ah, see. So there, there you go. go. You got the fucking Big discount screen. version of yeah. technology. It's more expensive than the iPhone. The Evo oh, is more wow. expensive. Really? Yeah, no, that's, that's not, that's not what Bobby mean. said. You fucking, <laughs> you hold Bobby's fucking credibility at a high standard. He said it was a fucking. Bobby saying anything it's for, right it's now? It's for MCs. Kicked him out of his trailer. <laughs> <It's> fucking scrambled. <laughs> <laughs> He's practicing his his ad libbing. Shut up, stupid. <laughs> He just used us to practice his fucking yeah. ad living skills for fucking Larry Davis. He called up to practice a fake argument like he's going to have on the show. Fuck We're going to see Curb next month, and it's going to be Larry David going, I kind of like the Evo. And Bobby goes, Dude, it Dude. stinks. Dude, I got an idea. It's a phone discussion between the Evo and the iPhone. It's very topical. Well, let's go with that. Let's go with that. I'm full of shit, Bobby. You know it's a fucking... Yeah. He's fucking had an agenda, you piece of shit. You didn't care about the Evo. Uh, <laughs> Practicing his, his fucking improv skills. <laughs> oh, my God. You know you know what I want to do? Bobby, thank you so much for uh, for helping uh, that out. Hey, Larry, what's up, Larry? How you doing, buddy? Oh, look at these two. Right. Uh, pals. Uh, you know talking what? to Larry Reeb. Watch this. <laughs> Line one, Tony in New York. Watch, watch. Hey, oh, we're going to take some calls. Hey, All Tony. Right. 
<laughs> yes, sir. How you doing, man? What do you got for the show? <laughs> I just wanted to back up, Joe. I'm, 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 I'm gonna be one minute. I'm just gonna say mm -hmm. I, I got the Evo. I still yeah. got the iPhone. I'm happy mm -hmm. with the Evo. Um, I don't hate the iPhone. I just think the Evo is, uh, is a pretty damn good phone. Um, it's, you know, the only thing I can say about See? the Evo right now that hasn't caught up with the iPhone See? is the apps. I think, uh, right, the apps, the we, we, which we discussed apps, already. See how this as goes? As Joe packs open his Did phone, you fucking like, hate the callers. <laughs> <kind of what? laughs> well, they add nothing. Well, Tony, <laughs> nothing. Tony, you sacrificial lamb. <laughs> Tony, <laughs> Tony made a, my point. a damn fine point. I like no, when no, he said no, that. That was a damn way. fine point. Tony, I used to have the iPhone. I got rid of it and got this. So, uh, because you couldn't afford the iPhone. We, yeah. Already established, and, and you did brag about your seventy-eight dollar a month bill. Yeah. It's fucking better yeah, service man. for less money. All right, yeah, so you you're a fucking the... discount guy. Yeah, <laughs> you're a discount guy. It's less money, better less gooder service. And you had oh, discount Tony coming back you up. <laughs> discount Tony, <laughs> discount Joe and Tony. That's your new shit. It's I love the better... reiteration call. The reiteration call. Yeah, you know, I just want to add that, uh, you know, Joe, uh, it is a good phone. It's great. The Evo, uh, better than the iPhone. Uh, you get the weather, you, you squeeze your fingers and the, the screens come up. Uh, the camera. Uh, I just wanted to reiterate everything Joe said because I have nothing to add to the show. <laughs> fucking, I'm a dumb caller. Oh, my God. Let me tell I you. Hate let you. me tell you how fucking fucked up this is. Oh. It's tearing down everything Obi built for 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> As when he gets back, no fucking Johnny from Schenectady is going to be on the fucking phone because he's not going to get Fuck him. <laughs> Fuck him. All right, let me hear Andrew. Andrew from Illinois, everybody. Live on, here we go. Oh, my God. Let's go. Andrew from this Illinois. Welcome to the Opie and hey, Anthony up, Show. Guys? What do you got for the show today, Andrew? <laughs> motherfucker. Well, yeah, yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> Phone a little bit better than that Tony guy did. All right, go, go ahead. All right, so the Evo over the iPhone has got an eight megapixel camera, uh, which should be a little bit better than the I iPhone six megapixel. So that's a big one. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Two uh, megapixels. That's flash. Also, is getting the Android two point two software this week, which is going to have Flash Player installed. So mm -hmm. all those Flash websites that you could go to. That the iPhone will never be able to play. All the Android phones will be. Let me go. Well, let me go to the, the uh, hands are up uh, here in the studio. Patrice O'Neill. I'm listening to tech talk. I'm, I, I like tech stuff, but of I'm, not, course. I'm not deep into it like you guys. I love mm -hmm. hearing it. It seems to me somehow the iPhone has figured out something. Like right. it's something about it that it's is very fantastic. Copy. But the draw, it's like this. What he's saying is little things just to be better than the iPhone. Right. But it ain't. But it's like. It's like saying, okay, I got a Mercedes, it's a V6. Well, the new, <laughs> the new fucking Infinity is a V12. And you go, yeah. I'm still buying this Mercedes, even though, yeah, this one has 27 spark plugs, but the <laughs> Mercedes only has 23. Like, the flash, Why? Why? I, it just yeah, doesn't yeah. seem like, the iPhone. it's like carrying around a television with flash. It, it, it sounds like it's just... It's like this. You got it. You got. You got a picture like this. The iPhone is an amazing device. Dude. Thanks, Andrew. It's, it's, and I just dump them. It's an. The iPhone's an amazing device. It's concise. It's user friendly. It's a. It's a fantastic phone. Its downfall is AT and T service. It's like having a yeah, Mac. Yeah, Verizon's gonna get it like, soon. It's like having a Mac. No, they're not, dude. That that has been the rumor for how, since it came out. How, the, it's like having a Mac computer that you can only use dial up internet with. Oh, don't you know even make that analogy, sure, Joe De Rosa. It. Let me ask you: When was the last time you made an AT and T call on a fucking iPhone? Uh, a few months ago, when I still had my iPhone. And what happened? The fucking thing dropped constantly. They're, they're you hold on to it tighter. <laughs> they're pretty exactly. <laughs> their problem in New York City is they have tons of towers, but their signal strength has a problem getting. I don't know what the term is, but getting through the buildings. The buildings. The fa it's not that the it's not that there aren't enough towers in New York. It's the the buildings. I use my fucking phone. I got I got AT. I use you it in the tunnels. Yeah, but you... But, I use it in the tunnel. I got all, I got all my bars. I'm telling you, dude. Right I, li I live three blocks from here. I fucking drop calls constantly. <clears throat> Here's what I constantly. hate about that fucking The web service phone. stinks. 
It, it just stays. Web service he's, stinks. He's, he's, as, a, as a performer, some people want to take pictures. You know pictures. how fast my 3G oh. is? That doesn't have a flash on yeah. the camera. It does now. No, it does. Oh, well, on finally, the after the yeah. fourth oh, you generation. Need a, you need to buy another phone? Exactly. I'm not going to say they, have that, they don't have that built-in obsolescence, because they do that all the time. They fucking make something, and then the next version has something you wanted so on the it other does, version. And now the new shit has a... Mm. Yeah, now it's got a flash on it. Uh, you know, I might be soft. I still think... Blackberries is for the big boys. I think that shit is big boy. You got big boy fucking. You got FaceTime. Yeah. Uh, you got FaceTime. Uh, poly, you know. Yeah. Now business. I'll give you this. The problem with my FaceTime versus yours is nobody's got this phone exactly. unless people have Sprint. So See, the FaceTime is it. But I, I will FaceTime my ass off. On I'll this go three G to three G with you right now, and the three G service on Sprint is insane, dude. It's I'm fast. not in that big a hurry. <laughs> if we're fucking just getting to, you know, what, what, oh, here we go. I want to check, you know, my stock or something. Oh, so you can't even use the 4G. It has 4G capability. You can use, they don't have it in New York But yet. they don't they have will. 4G. They will. I mean, it'll just be a matter of time. They will. They will. But the smart thing they is to will. go back and I use Edge because nobody uses Edge anymore. Yeah, let's get back <laughs> on Edge. Well, uh, AT&T, by the way, is ripping down all their Edge towers. Edge service will be eliminated, which means your fucking phone battery is going to die like that. Because the iPhone, when you have it on 3G, the battery runs out instantly. Instantly. Mine's on 3G. All, all the day. time. Yeah. All it fucking goes to day. Edge. You're mad when it goes to Edge. I go, I go to my network when I go home. And 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 I, this thing doesn't. Where are you getting your info? I had. You're a hand. I was a tech liar. from the first gen. I didn't get that yeah. one, so maybe it's better with that one. You didn't get this one. <laughs> he didn't, he, yeah. He's talking about the latest version. That is the best version. And, and you're bad mouthing it like the last version. He fucking knows that he made a mistake with this Evo. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah. He bought. He, How long do you have to wait online? He bought for the your hybrids Evo, of phones. How Not long were you I, waiting online for your it's, Evo? It's, they just had one at the store, and I bought yeah, it. Yeah, of course they did. <laughs> you know, the people waited eight, ten hours to pick up a fucking iPhone. Yeah, I bet the instructions were on this. He bought it from an Arab. I won't say they're not morons. I'm just saying, <laughs> you know, know a guy at the store, dummy. I had a fucking <laughs> conniption fit yesterday because the iPhone 4 is still sold out everywhere. I was going to leave. Sprint yesterday. So he wanted. That's why he got an Evo. By <laughs> can I can no, I please I say just... it now? It, it now no, it goes honest. all the fucking. Well, don't get frustrated. It goes. <laughs> it goes all the way back to where I said these phones are nothing but vengeance no, against the iPhone. You don't even yeah. know what I was going to say. I wasn't going to say I was going to go back to the iPhone. That's not what I was going to say. He went shopping. Oh, Jesus for Christ. a fucking the 4G iPhone. Oh, the four, yeah. no, so he I said, fuck four. that, I'm going to get the Evo. That's what he did. Oh, you sold out? What's the next best phone? I didn't... Uh, that's what's, not what, what's, what's, skates. what's the second <laughs> best <laughs> phone? No, forget it. I can't... Why do I keep trying to defend <laughs> him? I don't understand. Because you brought up that phone like it was the second coming of Christ. Asshole, yeah. <laughs> you brought it up with such power. I went looking... Uh, I was going to switch to Verizon yesterday... Because I was pissed off that the Evo was sold out everywhere. And then I go to Verizon and then look at all the new Droid phones. And they're all sold out everywhere. And then the fucking iPhone 4 I know is also sold so out everywhere. So you got your and it's phone just because everything no, no, no. you wanted was gone. <laughs> no, no, no. I wanted this phone the most, but I couldn't fucking find it. I found one. But I couldn't find it, and I was ready to go, fuck this. I'm just going to go to Verizon. I was so mad that it was sold out that I was going to go to Verizon and get their new droid. Then they were all sold out. And then I remembered that AT&T is all sold out of Listen fucking iPhones. <laughs> Let just, me ask you a question. Why did, did you do get, that? Why did you get your fucking my, iPhone? My iPhone? Because I had had the previous generations. I like the you, iPhone. You, I like the You just interface. wanted that iPhone. I wanted this phone. Did you hear this horse shit? That w <laughs> he went downtown and then he found out and then, then the sky <laughs> turned green. I didn't get an iPhone because my first three picks were sold out. <laughs> I have a BlackBerry. That's not what I said. You know what? You know what? My, my BlackBerry uh, <laughs> fucking bold. So it's what you said now. I have a BlackBerry bold. <laughs> <laughs> and they changed the uh, fucking... The, the, <laughs> The, the trackball yeah. into this, like, optical pad. pad. Ooh. And that's all How I need. that work? I f it's fantastic. Yeah. Because I'm not a big fan of touchscreen shit. I know that's the new, that's the shit. But I like 
it seems it can go wrong too much. I don't and, know. And I like that touch And your greasy fingers and but, shit just be on yeah, your screen. You just do this. You go meh, meh, on your By shirt. The way. There you go. Good. <laughs> By All the way, good. the guy you're saddling up with has a fucking BlackBerry, and not even the touchscreen BlackBerry. Oh, the shit. shitty. Yeah. Oh, damn. We should be at war. Old fucking BlackBerry <laughs> where you can't even dial a phone number when it says I dial one eight hundred Opie and Anthony because the fucking keypad doesn't have the goddamn letters have, on when it. When I have. Oh shit. Fuck what, that black When baby. I have, um, when I go places in, on first class, mm -hmm. when I fly, <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> I know a lot of people who fly coach that have Evos, they have Evo coach. <laughs> so I like that. You when only I fly, fly first, first class because you're too fat to sit in coach. Hey, 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 hey man. It degenerates to this. But, <laughs> but when me and my first class white people, those the ones that aren't fat, everyone pulls out. A BlackBerry. Everybody. Because it's business. It's the business. It's a bird. business phone. But look at iPods, I, I touch they're for kids. And they're cute. Well, they're for I the now children. Have to, uh, okay. I now have to retort. <laughs> Allow me to retort. <laughs> Your old good buddy Patrice just turned on Fuck you. Fuck iPhones. I've always hated iPhones, but yeah. I'm saying I know I hate the evil. <laughs> yeah, I hate the Evo, too. Fuck, I hate the iPhone, but fuck the Evo. I hate the Evo. <laughs> fuck that stupid phone. And can I just say really quickly to the, the ass that just feedbacked in, Drew Chu Train. Ooh. Uh, Android, he just writes, Android 27% of the market versus 23% iPhone. Shut up! Now, I'm so sick of hearing this. I'm so sick of hearing this argument because what people don't seem to understand is that it's we're talking about an Android, which is an OS. It's an operating system. Right. Which runs on fucking 50 different phones yeah. versus the iPhone, which is only on the iPhone. So, so all, it's all it's those a, phones so combined are selling more yeah. than... Well, well, one. I should I should what? hope I should hope that fifty different Android phones are beating solitary All iPhones. All I ever out. see for the Android is buy one get twelve free. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's another phone for kids, dude. Do you know how much Blackberries cost when you sign up to Sprint or Verizon or AT? Anyway, a dollar twenty five dollars. <laughs> Twenty five dollars, even with your instant. Yeah. They all can suck my dick, really. I wish I could fuck. I, I wish I had a pigeon. <laughs> I'll go back to carry a pigeon, nigga, or fucking a, yeah, exactly. a guy that can get his head cut off when exactly. I send him to go fucking tell, tell somebody bad news. Oh, yeah. no, the, the, the thing about the BlackBerry is it is a business thing. But that's like saying Windows. A lot of businesses are still running Windows. They don't have Macs running all over unless yeah, they're they like an, an art house does, you know, photographic uh, places. They have a lot of Macs. Mm -hmm. But that's what it is. It doesn't mean it's better. It just means here's, it's more conducive to business. But here's the only reason why. Why, and this is where your argument is completely flawed. It's more. <laughs> Joe hates me. I don't know what's going oh, on. Oh, man. <laughs> Joe for the fucking ever prosecution I, today. Ever since I said Alfred Hitchcock stunk, I didn't even remember doing that. Only, who listens to that? Steven Spielberg's a douche. Jaws was a ripoff of fucking Piranha. Like, what the fucking. fucking what's what's your point about the uh, Blackberry? Business. It's only better for business because it's a, because of the way that it's able to be networked in. Yes. It, it, you know, if you have if you have a massive amount of employees and you need them all on the same network, that's why it's better for business. And you As don't an want to around with fun games and stuff. Yeah. Well, let me tell you, the first <laughs> individual <laughs> makes the first iPhone. Yeah. The first iPhone couldn't. Uh, you couldn't have seventy five. Uh, email addresses that that consolidate into all right mm -hmm. one thing. Now they had to build BlackBerry. And that hasn't changed that since it began. They haven't changed much. It's, oh, the, it's a please. fucking great phone. Please, the BlackBerry. I love BlackBerry. I had the first generation mm -hmm. BlackBerry. Those things have fucking changed drastically. My girl loves the iPod. Got her. I mean, I the I, iPhone. iPhone. I bought her. I bought her the iPhone. She loves it. Hey, you're using, she's that a girl. A, you're using that as an insult. She twitters with it. <laughs> I like Twitter with she's mine. She's cute. It's, just, it's cute. Yeah, it's okay, cute. It's you fun. Know. You're a fun guy. Did Look, you guys? A bunch of cool <laughs> stuff. You just, Did you guys know? You're a millionaire yeah. with your toys, man. You love them. Did you know the first car ever could only fit two people in it? Did you know that <laughs> they had to build up, but the first airplane ever? No, oh, they could fit. Wow. <laughs> they could fit. That fucking <laughs> argument sucked. Droids. What, what is it? Dro what's this stupid Evo. phone? Evo. He's not. He knows he fucked up. 
He's going to try to get his money back today. He fucking knows he fucked up. There's only two conversations. And look, I wouldn't even. I'm not. There's only two conversations. The iPhone or the BlackBerry. It and, really and is. The, and the, the iPhone will advantage. probably defeat the BlackBerry in the con- Eventually. But I know that I fucking. My life was better because of BlackBerry. Just because. You answer emails, they come back and they look. See, that's it. I and, feel but they my look, life is better because of the iPhone. You like the iPhone. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's yeah. iPhone. But, Everything else, but, though, is, but is but all Evo's. the same shit. <laughs> Everybody's in there like, Ugh. That's lumped in. <laughs> People are going, hmm. Yep. Everybody's going, Blackberry. See, Blackberry. Uh, iPhone. And he iPhone, goes, iPhone, I bought the last Evo and <laughs> all the, the other fuck shit. Up. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for having me on the cunt and cunt show today. <laughs> <laughs> This shitty uh, phone that gets HDMI. Who the fuck? <laughs> fuck so, yeah, I who, can't even watch a whole movie. HDMI sucks up the energy. The movie sucks up the energy. What the fuck? Is, who's you're plugging the, their phone into the TV? Dude, to I swear to God. Something. I swear to God. Watch the TV. I had have Bobby explain that to me yesterday. He Damn. goes, he goes, he goes, dude, hands it's down. You watch shit on the TV. And he, and he did say hands down. That he cop said that, yeah. He did say he goes, hands down. He goes, dude, it's got fucking HDMI. Blah, 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 blah. And I go, uh, what, what is that even? Why would you want to pl- I literally go, why would you want to plug your phone into the TV? I don't understand it. Goes, I pay no attention to Bobby's fucking technology. Because you know what it is? Because I'm going to tell you something. You know what Bobby's technology shit is? And this is why I pay him no attention. He wants that. Bobby is the tech guy. He wants guy. to own that. And I don't want to take it from him, but I don't pay any attention. It's just like <laughs> Philadelphia wants to be cheesesteak place. Right. They want it. I've been to six places that have better sandwiches. Oh, my God. But you want it, you can fucking you own it. have it. And Bobby... Bobby's tech thing, like, dude, let me tell you. And then you go, well, I'm not the tech guy. I don't really want to be. So, you, yeah, tell me, Bobby. <laughs> you, be, you be the guy. <laughs> well, you know what? Shut the fuck up, oh, HDMI. Good. No one Holy can. shit. Dude. Dude, dude, let me dude, tell I you. Swear, dude. One of the funniest things ever was him explaining the iPad to me. Yeah. And I go, I don't understand, Bobby. It's just a, it's just like a laptop. And he goes, no, dude, it's fucking not. Okay? Because <laughs> if I'm in a about. fucking airport, I got a laptop. I got to sit there and do this. And he literally starts miming doing a yeah, mouse he does with a his very finger. Good mime. And acts like... Dude, he's got this expression on his face like it's like draining his fucking living like essence. Like an infomercial showing how hard it right? is to use an ordinary towel. And then he goes, dude, I swear. To- <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then I swear to God, he goes, he goes, but if I got the iPad, dude, I pull it out. I can oh, flap this. Man. I can flip flap. this. Bob. When he started flap. talking about flapping pages, I right? wanted to hit him with it. And he goes, he goes, it's got a virtual keyboard on it, which is fucking great. Check this out, dude. Even he if got it- the new keyboard he, goes, he wraps something around all his fingers. <laughs> yeah. And he fucking. <laughs> yeah. He, it's yeah. like fucking. I'm in the airport. Minority report. Minority He's, like, report. Yes. He's, got, He's got to put on that I'm playing King Kong suit in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking wants it. I know the fucking... Wait a minute. This is the Andy Circus suit. <laughs> the fucking... The Gollum suit. Where he, it's attached to his face. And yeah. He's got the ping pong balls all over him for fucking motion got, capture. Probably got a green screen in his I house. I got motion capture myself. Douche. I got the eye suit, dude. It's fucking... Sick. Fucking, <laughs> but he wants it. He, he wa- dances out the letters and it types it, dude. He fucking so, dude. He's telling me about the fucking iPad, and then I swear to God, he goes, he goes, uh, he goes, and dude, if you don't like, if you don't like the virtual keyboard, check this out. You can buy an external keyboard uh, and plug it in. And I go, so it's, it's a, a fucking laptop. laptop you now it's dickhead. a laptop. You fight the same That's funny how he just turned on Bob, too, because Bob oh, turned on him. They yeah. were friends. Oh, they were. He, he, was, he, was he using legitimized Bob Bobby. He as... was using Bob to back his story up. <laughs> no. no? What? It... Bob? I was going to ask if I can use that. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, gonna... yeah. Dude, yeah, yeah, it's always good for a phone. Dude, is it working? Yeah. Dude, I heard you fucking turn on me on Opie and Anthony today, dude. The fucking iPad is not the same thing as a laptop. Right, dude? <laughs> wait a minute, wait, can you please Bob on the wait, phone. Uh, can you please add some dude, Bob? Please blow cigarette smoke also. <laughs> you have to go <laughs> Cause that's his fucking poignant thinking is a cigarette smoke Bobby. Yes. Dude, dude, look. I heard you on the show. Let me <laughs> <laughs> That's some dude, like, when he's in here, it's like, I mean, dude, let me tell you something. He gets on the phone, it's like, dude, 
Oh, dude. Dude. This is me. This is you calling Bobby after he does your show. Ready? Oh, well. Uh, what's up, dude? I'm just fucking cooked. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Dude, Bird, me, we're trashing Bobby. One day. We go, Bobby's so fat, even when he talks about his physical state, it's in cooking terms. <laughs> uh, I'm just fried, dude. Fried. <laughs> I'm cooked. I'm just basted after this <laughs> morning. Cigarettes oh. and a sip of coffee, <laughs> and then he's talking about fucking technology. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. But he, again, he wants it. He wants it. A it's lot of his. these places want what they want. Like I said, I, yeah. I'm not going to lie. I've tasted the two or three places that Philly steaks, they, I, it just, they, oh, I go, whatever. Patrice but they, so they, wrong. they want it. So I have nothing they to say. they got to be the Philly cheesesteak. They it's want Philly. it. It's in the name. Why would you take something from somebody that wants? <laughs> they want it. They're the best at it. That's why. Deep dish pizza, you go to Chicago. Let me tell you something. I bet I get better Chicago deep dish. Chicago deep dish pizza sucks <laughs> dick. <laughs> Welcome back but to they... Difficult for No Reason with <laughs> Patrice <laughs> O'Neill. <laughs> oh, shit. I, I'm not falling for the banana in the tailpipe. <laughs> I had it. I ordered it when I was there. I ordered a whole... Uh, deep dish, and yep. I ordered the other one they're proud of, which is thin crust. Mm -hmm. First of all, they cut them in squares. That's the first thing I put my balls in. The second thing <laughs> is a deep dish pizza is cheese on the bottom. Yeah, I'm and not then into the, that. the it's like eating a fucking uh, a rim. It's <laughs> hard. It's not delicious. Dr New York pizza, and I'm not from New York. Is the best yes. pizza I've ever had. I don't think anyone is going to argue that point. I but do. Chicago wants to own the they deep want dish pizza. pizza? They have it, Chicago. They want but I'm deep not going to say your fucking Texas doesn't have the best barbecue you ever had. I went to Texas. Can I have some of that Texas brisket? Oh, shit. It, <laughs> I thought I cut a piece of my own ass off and didn't cook it. I ate a raw piece of my own ass, and I was, and it's just like, and they look at you with this. How's that, huh, yeah. partner? And you can't go. It eats balls because they want it. They want, they want brisket. You can fucking have it, Texas, but you don't have the best fucking that brisket. Really? Did you wrap it up and marinate it and dry rub? It stunk. <laughs> <laughs> he's not like anything. <laughs> but they want it. Yes, they do want to be the barbecue stick. The Nothing. only place that owns something that is actually, I'm going to, is, and I, I ordered clam chowder anywhere I fucking go. Ah, okay. New England clam chowder. Boston has, there's a place called uh, fucking uh, 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 Kelly's Roast Beef in, in like Revere. It's the best clam chowder you, oh. you can have. <laughs> he just... Bob Kelly's back on my well. <laughs> He's very busy, but if he was fitting this in his busy schedule, crack him up a little bit. Yeah, yeah Bobby, what's up, man? I'm, I'm hiding in a stairwell right now. I'm talk to you, asshole. So, first of all, I don't like that you're doing me. You sound just like me on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> he does do a good Bobby. He does, that, you, you do a great subdued Bobby, yeah. by the way. Very Thank good you. Bob, sub, subdued Bobby. I didn't know I was good at that until I did it to Colin one day, and we were laughing. He goes, oh, I know, I know, that's fucking him. That's <laughs> fucking just, him. The only thing he Bob. misses is the coffee sip and the cigarettes. Of t his fucking short paws of poignance, <laughs> you fucking dick. <laughs> his poignancy paws. <laughs> what a, what a, Bobby, would you like to uh, respond to that? Listen, this show is just a bunch of fucking friends throwing each other under a bus. <laughs> you guys are... How the fuck did it turn on me? <laughs> You're not even I, here. I know. I'm not, even, I'm not even here. Listen, Joe, I think your phone is great. For you and what you wanted, it's great. And that's all I was trying to say yesterday. I was trying not to be a dick to you. So, so your phone, if you want to make phone calls, it's great. I apologize, Joe, <laughs> if, if you get all whipped up. All right, over your fucking dumb plasma fucking TV. Dude. Uh, the reason the reason why I didn't get the phone is because I don't need to hook it up to my TV. But I said that's a good for you. 
Listen, dude. Yep. I know you were just being fucking cool, dude. You know? <laughs> I mean, you, we, <laughs> we come on the fucking show, dude. And, you know? Uh, you know, I'm just fucking cooked. This is a scene cool. in the show, by the way. This is Bobby's scene coming up. Are you subdued, Bobby, in the show today, Bob? Yeah, which Bobby are you? Listen to me, you fucking cunt. You fucking cunt. I'm fucking, I gotta walk down the street. Hang on, you motherfuckers. Dude, kill it today on fucking curb, dude. It's gonna do good things for both of us. <laughs> a cigarette. I mean, a stupid oh, cigarette pause, you ass. <laughs> While he reflects what he just said, adds a little more. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Goddamn, Bobby. Listen to me. I fucking you. Cunt, you cock suck a joke. I fucking. I and Patrice. The reason why I'm a, I fucking have tech. Is because I have nothing else in my life. I so you can have it. Exactly. Is the reason why Texas has brisket. <laughs> they want Anthony, brisket. You Anthony, yeah. you love your iPad. You told me you I do. I never but said Anthony, You know what Anthony doesn't do, Bobby? He what? doesn't claim tech. He just goes, oh, I'm going to buy it. But he really doesn't go, oh. He just gets I what he gets. Cause I like it. We have to listen to your tech knowledge. You like you like being the tech guy, but I, I love that you love else. it. I have nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. I want to give you tech. He owns it. He you owns it. You, you you want it, and you can have it. Yeah. We love you. Take tech. I got it. All right. Thank you very much. I'll take tech. Thank you very much. <laughs> so right now, I'm the tech guy on the show. Any tech things? I got it right. Yes, you are. Yes. Even though Danny's a tech guy too, but you only hear Danny's texts when he's mad as hell at somebody else's tech tech shit. bullshit. So he's just like, oh. And Danny <laughs> satellites like, are stupid. Like Danny gets mad as soon as yeah. a fucking guy. And him I and uh, I don't like fucking <laughs> shitty arguments. That's all. It's just like if you're gonna say something stupid, I'm gonna have to fucking I'll have to call you. Danny out. also proves it by like he can. If you have a problem with your computer or a, a network or something, like Danny can fucking hardware and software fix shit. He's a tech like guy. That's a tech guy. But he doesn't claim tech. No, no. Bobby, Bobby claims. Bobby it. makes you want makes forces you to buy. Bobby, here's one thing he just stopped trying to force me to do is is get online on Xbox. I I'm like he goes, <laughs> dude, you gotta get. Bleh, bleh, bleh. I go, I don't want to play with these people. I don't want them. To play, I no. want to play. I want to do the story mode. When that's done, yeah, I'm done with the fucking game. I finished the game. I I don't want to be here with some fucking kid that's bothering me. But he was trying to get me to get online. I couldn't do it. I but hate. I it's hate a whole me. nother part of the game, dude. <laughs> Dude, dude, what's up, dude? You online right now? Dude. dude, can you hear me through your fucking headset, dude? All right, listen, go into this fucking room. It's called Call of Duty uh, Black Ops. Go in. Okay, you see that name on the screen? Uh, uh, dumb shit dickwad? That's my gamer name. Okay, go on there. Hold on, dude. Fucking sign into my group. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby knows that's him too. But Bobby, don't stop being a tech oh, guy, cause great. man, we 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 love that you're the tech guy. No, I buy shit, cause Bobby has it. D dude, you ha Bobby's like the tech guy. Like he comes in with something, I go, fuck, that's cool, I gotta get that. Yeah, no, he's the, that's why I used him dude, in my defense I bought argument. This fucking yeah. app, but it didn't work. I know. And you you threw in hands down dude. and fucked up your testimony. Because it's like arguing, d arguing it tells with you where guys your plane is, like is arguing like with gorillas. You just <laughs> jump on your chest and start pounding it. It's like, well, what the fuck? The logic isn't gonna kick in here at any point. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I got to I got to uh, directors right now. Go do go do your go do your show, my friend. All right. See you, buddy. Take one more call before we take a break. Um is uh, uh obviously Bill from Ohio has got something just so important for the show. <laughs> Bill, Bill from Ohio. Patrice? You're on, Patrice? Bill. You're full of shit. Oh. <laughs> this pizza is so much better than New York. Oh, now we're going to Is he from Chicago? Pizza. Okay, ready? I 
I only I only want to make this argument with people who aren't from that area. Exactly. I look it. I'm from Boston. I think Boston has some good food. It it, it it's but I'm not going to say He's from Ohio this guy. And okay. He's, he's okay. saying wait, wait, wait. Chicago Cleveland pizza is better than New York. Okay. I was born in Chicago and this I is, lived in New York. Don't Why defend it because it's from places. there. Have you ever had a a nice big slice of fucking like La Familia pizza, yeah. fresh out the oven? Have you? I, I lived in oh, I lived in Syracuse and Liverpool. Syracuse, Nigga. no. When, <laughs> when people say New York, New York they mean you Manhattan, dumb motherfucker. <laughs> see, see, <laughs> see. When, when people say California, they mean L.A. They don't mean <laughs> fucking Sacramento. They're cities. Listen, right. Chicago. Listen, I'm saying if you Holy if you shit. want if you want it, you you you, ha you can have it. If somebody goes, oh, I got the best beef hot dog. What the fuck ever? Uh, Chicago has better hot dogs too. That's what I'm, I'm yeah, because they, they have better oh, beef. Fuck I, you! <laughs> I'm so fucking tired that Chicago Chicago hot dogs are great because we put fucking pickle juice and hot peppers oh, and, oh, and mayonnaise that, on. Oh, that whole hot dog yeah, thing where they're laying hot dogs. Chicken and hot dogs are terrible. Dude, guess what? You're a faggot. <laughs> Another That's useless the, caller. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. People get, get, they really get protective of their local fare. But it, it's like I've had, I'm saying this because I've had a Philly cheesesteak. Right. I'm not going to go fuck it and fuck Philly cheesesteak. I'm saying I have had some cheesesteaks that I was like, this is better and the only reason is the same thing of why when he brought up Evo, mm -hmm. it's the attitude of why you say you they Philly goes fucking Philly cheesesteaks. Yeah. If they just go, hey, have one of my cheesesteaks, taste this, and you go, wow, oh, that's, that's really good. good. That's really up there with some of the best cheesesteaks. But the fact is, we want cheesesteaks. We're known <laughs> for it. We rule. We have the best. Boston has. We call them steak and cheeses. Mm -hmm. We don't go. We we just. Go, Boston steak and cheese is phenomenal. But now you're breaking the rule because I, you're but from I'm, the I'm area. I'm only so saying the rule. that. I'm only <laughs> saying that because I, I, l luckily, I have traveled and I'm eat. <laughs> yeah. San Francisco has the best homos. Chinese homos <laughs> and best Chinese food. Chinese food, yeah. San Francisco's Chinese food is phenomenal. That makes sense. They've been coming over uh, for years. Phenomenal. So. Right. Better than any Chinese food. New York Chinese food stinks. Dude, let yeah, me tell you something. There's a Chinatown down here in Arkansas, and it's the <laughs> best goddamn Chinese food you're ever going to eat. Yeah. Yeah. Y you would get a caller like that. I'm so yeah. mad at that brisket in Houston. It's just like <laughs> brisket. go down to the little place where, the, where it's rickety. And, uh, you know, there's an actual cowboy. He's about 106. <laughs> still has a horse. Come on down. Here's how we cook it. They they, <clears throat> they even put on the menu how it's cooked. Yeah. Slow cook with the bob. I went in there, dude. If if I didn't have my I had to buy eight gallons of iced tea. <laughs> To enjoy to, this fucking brisket. To wash this down with. And, and to wash down this dry bis <laughs> brisket. <laughs> uh, uh, to wash down Dude, this tasty that brisket. That is a dry brisket. But, but, here's, but here's, here's what a polite motherfucker I am. I said, you, these guys believe in this brisket. Yeah. I said, maybe my taste buds are <laughs> yeah. wrong. I'm going to you eat up. this fucking brisket. Yeah. I'm going to... This is... This stinks, <laughs> dude. But I kept going because you wanted it. It's like they the Mexican. It. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's Samuel Jackson eating that burger. May I, may I have some of your Texas tea <laughs> to wash down this <laughs> tasty brisket? That's yeah. that. What's That's in this? That Houston six gallons iced tea. <laughs> oh my God. May I drink the six gallons of iced tea <laughs> <laughs> to wash down this uh, shithole <laughs> brisket? Because my woman enjoys ribs, <laughs> <laughs> which, part, which means I enjoy ribs too. By the way. <laughs> Uh, don't I don't get, dig on brisket. <laughs> don't get mad at your stupid food. I've been around, and I'm just saying, dude, it's just there's, there's places the that... Te people take pride in make me laugh a oh, lot of times. It God. really yeah. does. It's, it's so ridiculous. Why are you so like, dude, our pizza so much better? First of all, it's taste. It's subjective to a point. 
unless it's shit and filet mignon. Yeah. I bet the filet mignon tastes better than the shit. But, like, if this guy likes Chicago pizza better than New York pizza, yeah. or Syracuse pizza, by the way, the guy calls <laughs> with his point that New York pizza sucks he, based no on Syracuse has pizza. fucking Liverpool, he <laughs> said. Yeah, in Liverpool. No. Where the fuck is Liverpool? I don't know. He's, he, he ate Canadian pizza. Nobody uses the entire state. No. As a no, when you say New, New York, York, you mean the city of New York. And I have something else to say yeah. to the, if there's listeners in when Chicago. When you say L.A., you don't mean Bakersfield. Anybody out there? <laughs> <You're> fucking <laughs> idiot. Anybody out there in Chicago, uh, you have a great city, but number one, when it comes to your deep dish pizza, Pizza Hut is better. <laughs> number one. Yes. Number two, fuck your hot dogs. I can't yeah. stress. I'm tired of that shit. Oh, man. Oh, you stand in line for a half hour just to get the pickles oh. and the, the Dude, fucking cabbage. Dude, fucking strawberry dog? They put fucking strawberries on them. <laughs> Shut it's up. It's disgusting. Give me a bun and mustard. Yeah. And I'm I here. went to Cincinnati, and a motherfucker made me have their local fa it, spaghetti and chili. I took two bites, and he's just looking at me with his eyes really open. It was, like, it was yeah, a limo driver, one of the drivers. Like he this. goes, I go, what's, what's the thing you eat here? He's like, oh, chili and spaghetti. We go to Chili and Spaghetti R Us, and <laughs> I almost mash it in his face like a Three Stooges. <laughs> it doesn't even sucks. sound good. That's a it nasty. fucking. It's like, and, but he was, <clears throat> he was so proud. Yeah. That yeah. this is something he could go. This is what we do. And he's gonna turn you on to part of their and culture. I, I'm, I'm, my mind was open, man. I'm, t I'm, my, I'm a greedy. My, my mind is open to any food you wanna give me a chance to taste. <laughs> sure. And, dude, deep dish Chicago pizza, I have to say, one of the most <laughs> overrated. <laughs> like, Philly cheesesteaks really? aren't, uh, like, them, I don't get mad at them. No, no. I, 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 just, I, I get just mad like, at deep dish pizza. I just get mad, I get mad at deep dish pizza because There's it's wet, just... wet tomatoes just <laughs> thrown on top. Like it's a reverse... Tomato. I, it's a reverse regular pizza. Yeah. I would take yeah. cold... Pizza Hut pizza with no cheese on it <laughs> over Chicago with cheese pizza. pizza. That overnight, the dog ate it off <laughs> during a party. And you woke up and just ate the crust. It's just that layer of sauce that looks like it was dripped on there by accident. <laughs> pizza Hut doesn't even look like they put it on Who enjoys <laughs> Uno's? Oh, it oh, stinks. What the fuck? I, I it go. stinks. Go Why would I go there? To Uno's to have Chicago-style pizza. When you get there, you order chicken fingers. <laughs> yeah. Or if you are a personal pan, the giant cooked. But really, is my pepperoni on the sauce? And <laughs> I don't even know how to fucking oh, eat this shit. Look at that shit. thing. That's the, Ugh, it's Danny just, just punched up a picture. Dumb. It's horrible. It looks disgusting. The crust is hard. Hey, yeah. you, you yeah, know how you... Fucking, like, tooth-breaking hard. Yeah. You know your least favorite part of the pizza is the crust, and your second least favorite part is the sauce? <laughs> yeah. Just fucking everybody's Wait food. Wait a second. Yeah. Yeah. If you eat actual <laughs> Chinese food, you might die. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's a promo for the next episode of his uh, show. <laughs> Patrice, what do you think of Disney World? Fuck Mickey Mouse. I'm sick of it. <laughs> and by the way, the Italian food in the Italy in Epcot was fantastic. <laughs> so I don't even have to go to Italy. Real real quick though, before we get too far away from Chicago, remember yes. when remember when McDonald's had pizza? Ooh, no. They had pizza for a month in 1996. And lobster sandwiches. I would rather Ooh, have uh. the McDonald's pizza. <laughs> <laughs> he would rather have McDonald's Over pizza. Chicago deep fish. Uh, <laughs> Mama Celeste, I would take Elio's. over Chicago. I'd rather have Elio's from school. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather have Is Elio's. Is there some kind of commercial? Did you, <laughs> do, have we been on two hours straight talking yeah, about I know, right? fucking, I would, pizza. fucking pizza and phones? <laughs> I would take Elio's that Mama Celeste uses a tampon over Chicago. Chicago deep Just dish a pizza. Pad. Yeah, in a fucking old panties. Yeah, we'll take a we'll take a break. <laughs> You're right. I, I'm just looking, laughing, fucking oh, talking about phones and <laughs> shitty Chicago food. Six forty five to eight thirty. Talking about <laughs> <laughs> how shitty your brisket is. Ah <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, well, uh, at nine fifteen. Wow, Forrest Griffin is coming in. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy's very excited, but he's not here. <laughs> uh, so we're going to sit and talk about his new book. Oh, can um, I say that I'm in uh, 
Yeah, plugs. I'm in Charlie uh, Charlie Goodnights this weekend, which is in North Car- Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh. Um, Thursday through uh, Saturday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Go see Patrice. Two shows Friday, two shows Saturday at, at Charlie Goodnights in Raleigh. North Carolina. Very funny. Uh, Joe? I, I just want, can I, uh, my album's out. My Comedy Central album is finally out. It's on uh, iTunes and Amazon and stuff. Please buy it. It's called The Depression Auction. Please buy it. Thank you. Can I Very plug good. something? Oh, <laughs> Kenny wants to plug something. Yeah, I'll be at the Tampa Improv this weekend, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Say hello to me while Jim Norton's on stage. Are you flying over to take care of Jimmy <laughs> at the Tampa Improv? Yeah. It's a nice club, too, by the way. Yeah, it's, that's a fun club. I think I did go to that one once. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, back in a flash. Uh, stick around. This is the Opie and Anthony Show on the virus. Serious XM. Hi, Sam. Hi. Yeah, Sam. Danny. T Storm, Patrice, and Joe DeRosa Hello, hanging John. out with me, Hello. Anthony. Where'd you go? I went to have a cigarette really quick. Are Hi. you dead? Yes. Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> kind of get that waft, a little bit of cigarette waft. You don't smell bit. that much anymore. Like, you don't smell uh, people stinking of cigarettes anymore. No one can smoke no, anymore. I know, because you can't really smoke anywhere. The only per- I didn't have any, I had to bum one. And the only person that had one was a guy that rolls his own. He's like, I'll roll you one. And I'm like, thank what? you. Can I do the lick part, please? Yeah. <laughs> Would you, you smoke outside? Yeah. He was like, yeah. You I smoked even... a rolled cigarette? Yeah. I just, I needed Boy, you smoke. really wanted to smoke. Yeah. I forgot my goddamn cigarettes at home. So. I think that was our intern, Dustin. Dustin? Dustin rolls his own cigarettes. He's one of the uh, senior interns in the sense that he's 32 years old. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. What, is, what is he uh, planning on doing? Uh, I don't know. He drove a truck for a while, and then he did this, then he did that, and now he's a radio Should we talk intern. to him? Is he any like? Is he interesting at he's all? He's a bit of a character. We, we, yeah. Is it that guy that came in? Drag him in here for a second. Yeah, he's weird looking. Just a fucking he used weird to have, looking. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> he rolled a Kenny, perfect cigarette. Kenny just hostily yelled at the door, Dustin, you listening to the show? <laughs> Get in here. <laughs> hey, Dustin, why don't you grab a mic? Uh, your name came up. Good morning. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you kind of look like a guy that's in every commercial now. Thank you. Doesn't he? Yeah. Uh, now, nice now, how old are you, gentlemen are you? I'm 32 years young. 32. Okay, yeah. Uncle Paul. 32 <laughs> years young. And uh, what made you want to intern for a radio? I could understand, like, trying to figure out how to fucking weasel your way in to do a show or, or you know, what. But interning is. Wow, the bottom of the fucking rung, uh, the oh, yeah, ladder. That's there. where I'm at in life, the bottom. I'm a college student, digital design major, and uh, well, I wanted to get more involved in audio manipulation. Thirty-two, though. Yeah. What happened between ending high school? Oh wait, just wait. Yeah. Give him a just give him two seconds to. <laughs> he's trying What's to. The f- he's, of the I just give him a. Se- no, I feel so I bad. I, 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 I feel. I don't know. I have something. It's something. I have a, a, a something in my heart with guys, uncomfortable men. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, he's looking a little uncomfortable. And he's trying right now. to figure out in his head how to maintain his his dignity, <laughs> his composure. <laughs> his he's he's practicing new like confidence moves. He been waiting for this moment yeah. since yeah, yeah. he's been here. Yeah, right. this and this is his big, big chance to yeah. maybe be the intern guy. He's pulling his pants up. And, uh, he's doing the be- belt buckle stance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just give him a thirty second. A little get breather, it together. A little thing. get it together. All right, where I'll give you some some easy easy ones here. Where, like, where are you from? Cincinnati, Ohio. Cincinnati, Ohio. Oh, the and, fucking uh, chili and spaghetti capital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I bet, yeah. Yeah, we were just uh, talking about that. Did you have a three-way while you were there? Huh? What's, what's that? That's a spaghetti, chili, and cheese. Ugh. Oh, a oh, three-way. You've got to have a name for everything. you got to have a catchy name for everything. Sure. Hey, three-way, three-way is just sex. It? I don't put Sounds nothing sexy. else. Yeah, three-way. Mm-hmm. Uh, sausage, peppers, and Get onions. Fly, really? Really? That's what a three-way let down that would be. Hey, man, we got you a three-way all set up. Great. Ah. Here you go. Chili, spaghetti, and cheese. Great. And do you enjoy that? Oh, yeah. I eat them all the time. Yeah. It's delicious for cheese coney. That's a hot dog with chili and cheese, onion, mustard. <sighs> Just give me mustard. No, no, I I know, stop stop putting all hot dog is shit. the easiest fucking food. It yeah. doesn't have to be complicated. <laughs> What's your name again, bro? Dustin. Dustin. <laughs> Dustin. I like the See, way the, best, the best part about also, you have to realize that, like, you're talking about their dignity and stuff. 
Like these interns, 32 years old, we've had guys as old as 40. They come in here and they don't realize when they're interviewing that for the next three months they're going to have to deal with the fact that 26-year-old me, just this little young punk, is going to be bossing them around oh, <laughs> as their superior. That, that is Does really that bother you just a little bit? Oh, not a bit. That's primetime Sam Roberts. Wow. <laughs> I mean, that's you are brainwashed. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You are yeah. brainwashed. <laughs> All right. I, I got I to get into it. What happened? Between high school. That, thank you very much, man. Yeah, that yeah. Was nice. You can see his per he has the personality yeah, yeah. of someone that's going to die soon. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it a shot, Patrice. I, I, you really did. I, I, and, and thank you for Look, that. I gave him a few he seconds. You just said he looks like the guy for every commercial. He's every commercial. <laughs> Look. That's oh, fucking shit. Shit. <laughs> You really look like the guy he's, they're using in every commercial he's now. He's a lucky, funny looking guy. With a nice looking wife. Yeah, yeah. On every sitcom kind of, and every hey, commercial. How you doing, you know. Uh, wow. Yeah. Uh, so now, between high school and now, what happened where you couldn't pursue this kind of thing a little earlier in life? Oh, well, I pursued other things. After I dropped out of high school, I went into uh, carpentry, uh, carpenters union for a while. I built a roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> then it was uh, truck driving. You know, OTR, coast to coast. Over the road. Yes, sir. Right, I right. never want to be a disappointed parent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Did this just pop in your head, Patrice? I'm just sitting there going, this must be just really? phenomenally yeah. depressing to be a parent. You drop out of high school and then you go into just the trades. Yeah. And he's still searching for what he's going to do. Swinging a fucking hammer. What's the kid up to? He's building this roller coaster. <laughs> and he's very proud of the roller coaster thing, by the way, because he brought it up. It's like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, build a roller coaster. I build things. Do you know how important that is to the world? <laughs> and then somehow he relates it to Jesus, who yeah. was a carpenter also. Yeah. Yes, yes, of I'm course. I'm a simple man. I like to use my hands. <laughs> my hands. <laughs> yeah. Fucking still makes horseshoes. Yeah. You yeah. got an anvil in your house, motherfucker. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm doing the drywall <laughs> down at the new McDonald's. <laughs> He's the guy. Yeah. He's the guy. It's like you can keep all that Hollywood red carpet nonsense. Yeah. I like nothing better than an ice cold brewski <laughs> meat and, and a potatoes. front porch <laughs> meat and potatoes kind of guy. They call me. <laughs> so you're, you know, meat and potatoes guy. Yeah, that's just delicious. Uh, <laughs> Louis C.K. Do you roll the perfect cigarette, dude? I will tell you that. That yeah, fucking then, thing. Oh, this a cigarette guy. Yeah, yeah. What he, the fuck perfect. is that about? Practice makes perfect. Practice makes purple. Yes, why, why they sell purple? them rolled with filters yeah, in I them? I can afford to have people do that for me. Oh shit! Intern's uh, salary is uh, zero, right? So he well, smuggles yeah. in tobacco. Yeah. I, 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 a wealth of where do you go get tobacco? Yeah, where do you get just a pouch of tobacco? <laughs> Ooh, God. now I gotta get me some more tobacco. <laughs> you darn rabbit! I'm a smoker. And I don't know where the fuck to get <laughs> straight Ooh, tobacco. You fucking go get tobacco. I don't even know where to get straight. I only know how to get it inside of other things that I'm purchasing. <laughs> exactly. I don't know how to just get the ingredients. I, I, I guarantee the answer isn't like I get you get it from Walmart. You gotta get it from this exact yeah. this little place over by somewhere yeah. but, next to something else. Uh, yeah, so you roll your own cigarettes. Yeah, uh, because yeah. you can't afford it. Do you do anything to make money? I mean, Christ, you can't just do this. No, I just survive on my student loans from the government. Student loans at thirty-two, you're taking out student loans. Oh yeah, I'll be over a hundred thousand dollars in debt in uh, twenty twelve. <laughs> Congratulations! Why are you yeah, doing yeah, I'm this? I'm looking forward to that. Why are and you you're doing taking, this? And you're taking a, a fucking course. That the highest you might get is 50000 a year. Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah, it is interesting that you'd be doing this. What's your major? By majoring in how to get shit on on a national <laughs> radio show. <laughs> <laughs> they suggested that I intern. <laughs> what, what, what about family life? You're married, you got a girl, what's going on? I'm all alone in the world except for, like, uh, my father, brother, new niece. Yeah. Another nephew or niece on the way. What, what about that? Your brother's kind of... getting pussy at least. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. He's Live vicariously. <laughs> yeah. He hugs his niece and goes, boy, this is proof my brother gets pussy. <laughs> I don't like your intern's <laughs> renegade attitude. Yeah, it really is. I'm kind just of out a... there by myself by on myself. the open road. <laughs> just me. My lone wolf pack. My fucking tobacco and my belt uh, buckle. He'll have a great eulogy. His story's boring now, but his eulogy will be great. Uh, he gonna... rolled his own cigarettes. Oh, it's going to sound like he's <laughs> just a world traveler, a bon vivant. <laughs> and it's very disturbing. A, a guy like this, because there is an office shooting. Because he's his his actual life is is that of he's destined hmm. for mediocrity. 
at best. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. but he doesn't. Kinda. He doesn't want mediocrity, and there's no other way for him to get out of it. And, and let me tell you something. Someone who's proud to be in a hundred thousand dollar debt in 2000, 2012 mm. means he's going to take a few people out with him. Yeah, Meaning yeah. he has no intentions on paying it back. He fucking has no one. He's he has no one that he's going to leave that that debt to. That's going to be all. Yeah. <laughs> He's alone. He already said it. He's gonna fucking. He's a fucking killer. You are kind of a killer. In Jordan Vandersloot, except for fucking. Yeah, I believe in him. I think he's gonna pull. <laughs> yeah, He'll he be the guy it. that makes a million dollars. You're like, how are you a millionaire? He's like, all right. Do you ever, do you ever see how you open a orange juice carton into a little triangle thing? I invented that. <laughs> that was amazing. He'll invent something goofy like that, and he'll fucking make. I'm gonna tell you, he might millions. be smart enough to invent it, but he's not smart enough to have it patented. <laughs> Jesus, Patrice, dude, you could, you could. I can't look at him, cause <laughs> <laughs> this, this guy is just, he's dangerous, man. Any, He's a uh, dangerous person right here, dude. Any uh, type of uh, g girl thing or just nothing? You, you do, do you date? Do you? Uh, what's, well, I find it hard here in the city. Uh, women seem to have standards that they don't have out in the country. It's a peculiar situation. Yeah. Well, their first standard is don't fuck a guy with a Nightmare Before Christmas belt buckle. Giant on. Nightmare Before <laughs> Christmas belt buckle. You got to get and, rid of it. And polio <laughs> shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Too true. Polio yeah, yeah. shoes. <laughs> they are some big black Why shoes. Why does he have a fucking high heel Club comfy foot. shoes? <laughs> yes. The whole thing is high heel. He has on wedges. Uh, <laughs> he had an interesting style. He liked mint colored button downs. Yeah. And orthopedic shoes. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the shirt's kind of hanging on you a little bit there. Oh, he is. I lost a lot of weight since so I moved to town. Oh, you did? Yeah. I'm Can't afford to eat. Yeah. Oh. Lack of eating. Yeah, yeah. That Can't wasn't... eat. Yeah. Oh, man. Can't afford taxis. Take He's this guy up. Make this guy your Kenny. Patrice. My who? Make him your, your yeah, Kenny. Yeah, Kenny is valuable. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy. Oh, I afford him to have raping bitches at my shows. Damn. <laughs> Killing a bitch in the closet, like, <laughs> so you, in the you, same hotel with me, fucking strangling hoes, or fucking <laughs> Mexican maids are missing. I needed a rapey assistant to sell my DVDs <laughs> after the show. Fuck out of here, You man. just come in here, and then you you get a check from the government. Yeah, and you go to you go to school or is it like home courses or something? Oh no, it's a real school. The it's a real of school. University of Cincinnati. Yeah, uh, so you're just doing this for the summer. Yeah, and then you go back to school. Now, you, so you're in a school with like college kids. Why is he trying yeah. to regular himself as a middle aged fucking? Yeah, man? What, don't don't you reach a point where you just go kind of fuck it? I fucked up. I I missed I missed the fucking train when it came yeah, to every college. day he does it. Like like yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Just like uh, Patrice said, every day I think. You can that, feel him. What am I going to do? Uh, end it all? I have too no, much no, empathy. No, you just work and you kind of try to. <laughs> He's not going to end it all. You hear what I'm talking about? These are things. What am I going to do? Kill myself? Kill myself? No, <laughs> I'm going to kill all the co-eds. <laughs> kill all the all. <laughs> at yeah. Cincinnati. Yeah. Do, you, do do they do the kids kind of look at you like, what the yep. fuck is this guy doing? Yeah, people are always asking me. They uh, go. They call him sir. And they say they ask him directions. Ask directions, yep. sir. Mister, do you know where? Because he looks like a local. And the faculty like ask you to please leave the campus. <laughs> yes, and you have to always. That's why he wears yeah. his ID on his pants. He's got to do that at school. That he does that at school because he's, he's that's lurking hilarious. the halls for fucking college girls. Yeah, there's some guy hanging out looking for trim. Yeah, you know? yeah. it's like and no, I'm not. I'm here trying there. to get a major. <laughs> I'm paying. And he, I'm a hundred grand in debt, motherfucker. And he goes into <laughs> yeah. class right and always gives the girls this. Uh, this this disarming, trying to be super friendly. You try to be charming. I'm so just better in myself. Not smile. Only, not only the classmates, but my professors too. I got a few female professors that are younger than me. I oh really? Yeah. How's that work out for you? Uh, not at all. No. No. Do you have any game? I, it doesn't seem like you no, got sir, much I game. Don't, no. He's no. gonna, he's trying to luck his way into some pussy. What? And, <laughs> and 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 my advice to you is, when you get some pussy, man, take it for what it's worth. Leave. Don't try to be in a relationship with this girl. Because you're going to end up, that's going to be the crime spree. That's going to be he's the, gonna the connect. fucking snapping point. He's not going to, once he gets some chick that's fucking crazy enough to fucking fuck him. Yeah. If he's going to be super into her, if man. If she he leaves, she, he's yeah. the type that would go to her, her mother, her father. Yeah. Like when, and then he left her house, went to her parents' house, not gonna kills fucking them. Go, asked the father, where the fuck is she? Yeah, yeah. And he's like, and Lord the father's Marcia. too scared to like be a dad. Plow, plow. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fact, man. So yeah, do you, do you buy pussy or you got too much fucking pride? 
Yeah. Uh, well, I don't have enough money and or too much pride. Uh, Whichever way you want to look at it. Fifty dollars uh, so will get you a fucking prostitute, for, man. for you know, guys kind of need that outlet and companionship. Uh, I masturbate incessantly. That that gets dangerous, man. If I if I knew I couldn't get gets pussy and right, right. jerk off like that jerking and won't is, buy pussy, jerking off is fine if you yeah, know, I know there's something. Yeah, you can get a light pussy. at the end of the fucking t- vagina. Because sometimes I jerk <laughs> yeah, off, yeah. I jerk off the shit be... where you go. I think I can, I can get a girl like that. So yeah, I yeah. jerk off to that girl, and you and you feel better. But if you're just jerking off because you cannot get a girl. That's when it gets really dangerous. Yeah, you got to be a functioning Fuck. alcoholic. You right, got to still get right. out there and work. Get out there and work. <laughs> you, know? you can't just jerk <laughs> off all the time. Yeah. Oh, oh so can, can I ask you a, 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 kind of a personal question? When when the last time was that uh, oh, you were amorous with let's, a, a let's, woman? Let's, let's take a bet. You, you'll be honest about that. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's just go on it. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. Ten dollars. Ten bucks. Ten closest. Bucks. Ten bucks on it. Can right. I count the most recent? If it was kind of a failure fizzle. Or do I have to go back to you the last have to have so have don't, your, don't give it away. Yeah. Your dick, and right. there was some pumping, and your dick was in, and she wanted it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she, you sent the bar pretty high. Why are your nipples at your belly button? You are just a fucking horror show. I'm going to, this guy, let me see. Straighten up a little bit. You're going to be honest, right? right? So yeah, what's, yeah, what's the bet? What are we betting here? We're How, gonna last pick, time he got pushed. We're going to pick, pick a date, a year. Uh, actually, a month and a year, just in case we're too close. Uh, and whoever's closest to him, uh, the date he actually got laid the last time, uh, will win $30 or $20 because it's your own 10 in there. So um, who wants to go first? Wow. You go, Joe. All right. I'll say... Where are we right now? We're at August 2010. I'm going to say it was... Season, maybe? What? I don't know if I can narrow it down to a month. All right, well, we'll do a season. Winter. I'm going with okay. winter because it's easier to get pussy in winter. <laughs> okay, so we get the season and year. Season and year. Okay. I'm going to go winter a year ago. And winter is the last part of, like, if you say winter of 2009, that's, you know, Like, I'm going to go winter. winter a full two years ago winter. So whatever that is. So winter of 2008. Right? So you're going winter. Well, it hasn't been winter of 2010 yet. So, or wait, yes, it has. Just say the Yeah, the, 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 yeah winter, winter 2008. 2008 is winter when you 2008, say, okay. I'm going to oh. go with. All right. uh, winter, uh, winter 2000. You want to jot that down so we don't forget? Winter. Oh, you got it. Winter 2008. Um, ah, let me think. Let me think. I'm going to say <coughs> I'm a hopeless romantic, so I'm going to say spring. <laughs> 2006. Wow. Yeah, I'm going back. I'm going to do the prices right shit. <laughs> oh, you motherfucker. And I'm going to go I'm going to go fall of 2005. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Fall 2005, spring 2006, winter 2008. I'm trying to scenario yeah. it yeah. on what the what scenario could have happened for him to had gotten had lucked oh. into some pussy. Well, let me hear your uh, <laughs> your little theory. I'm thinking about... school. I'm mm-hmm. thinking early. I'm thinking nervous bitches who haven't gained their confidence. I'm thinking of a freshman or a sophomore uh, chick in school where he's he's kind of a mystery older guy because he's still in his twenties so and why pathetic. Fall? They already know him by then. It's or, the school or, starts or, or, in school fall. School starts. Okay. And so I'm saying by the time they know he ain't shit, it was uh, it hasn't been winter <laughs> oh. yet. So I say fall of 2005. That was my uh, idea. Of, that's my thinking. All right. Um, but I, I'm saying that it. I mean, God two damn, years ago, year, two year years ago is way drive. too early. Yeah, yeah, See, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm going to theory that a year, even for a no pussy guy, is a dry spell. <laughs> Two years, maybe. Look at him. Any longer than that, I mean, God but damn. Because I was a no pussy guy for a long time, but I mean... Two fucking years. I'm going fucking 2006. I'm my going friend. 2005. Right. Wow, Patrice is really backing up. All right, uh, the answer is summer 2008. So Whoa. Joe DeRosa is the closest. Whoa. Joe DeRosa wins. Uh, could we have a little 
Maybe a little recap of that uh, amorous Shit. moment you had. Shit! I know. I, I, Shit! I could have Tell you, man, a year to two years, years is the most. Dude. Before that, Whoa. it was seven fuck, years. So I was close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? The reality of it. Fuck! You got, would your dick slip in somebody on it when you tripped? A year to two years <laughs> is a long time, dude. Fuck! You got to think back All right, to how'd you get it? What happened? Yeah, well, how, how was the story there uh, with the last list? Craigslist you know, emails. So you're talking that about fuck that's like that a prostitute. shouldn't count. That well, we shouldn't know. fucking count. That's a prostitute. Well, we dated for like three months though. Oh, oh, you just you met her. Yeah. Oh, I thought you paid. No, oh, man, we should have no we should have had criteria, man. I know, yeah, those bitches. Are, she was a mess too, right? Was she a disaster? Uh, she fatty? enjoyed wine, what? fetish, kid. She was a mess. Wow, Two dogs. It wasn't like a girl you met. I was giving you credit for like a fucking I know, goddamn he's college meeting girl. Meeting someone in school, no That'd fucking. Been nice. way. I tried. Yeah, good luck with that. Uh, but I was ten years older than them, uh, balding. You know, I don't have the personality that you have. Oh, that's uh, that was well, passive aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, those passive aggressive. No. Hey, we're in the same boat, fat nigger, but we're not. <laughs> no, 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 no. Go fuck yourself, cocksucker. Oh, no, you think I didn't catch that either? No, no. Boy, there you go. I saw that. Can't give a white boy a second. I caught that too. You, you, you said it before I did. Hey, I don't have the personality you have. If you didn't, you'd be like me too. You fat fucking gorilla, big gorilla rapist. You fuck face. <laughs> oh, shit. Shit, You're probably man. going bald too, then, tits. What an asshole you are. Good oh, for you. God damn. Tits. Uh, <laughs> that's great. Yeah, because you fucking always got to fucking uh, laugh your way into some pussy, lucky boy. <laughs> God damn, I fucking saw that, and that was done on purpose. My Aryan features are much better. But, you yeah. know, it, it, I'm glad you said it, so I don't look like a fucking no, no, dick. No, I saw that a mile away. Yeah, we're yeah, in, we're, yeah. we're, yeah, yeah. hey, you're yeah. one laugh away from yeah. me. Yeah. No, not. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's exactly what he was saying. That's fucking classic, dick. Man. Uh, that's motherfucker. Fucking what a dick. Motherfucker. I was that's feeling for him at first. You motherfucker. Motherfucker. <laughs> uh, well, we got, I guess Forrest is here. Uh, why don't we, why don't we catch up a little on, on taking breaks? Okay. And then we'll have Forrest coming right after, uh, we take a break. Okay? That'll work. Very good, Steve. Very good, everybody. Uh, be right back. Let me have your attention for a moment. This is a on the virus. Serious. XM. All right. Hope you and Anthony show. Uh, again, Joe DeRosa and Patrice O'Neill. Uh, and now, uh, let us bring in Forrest Griffin to the, uh, to the show. Forrest, how you doing, man? Oh, yeah, big good. guy. Jesus. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Maybe I want to make fun of people, too, you know? I know. I'm sorry. They had the curtains shut. I didn't even see anybody out there. I hate when they shut the curtains in here. We well, can't put like a it. naked girl on a computer without fucking battening I, down the hatches. I'll tell you what, I like the curtain shut. It creates an illusion of like, something good's happening. Like something's going on in and here. Then I, yeah, I get in here, imagine my disappointment. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's a bunch of dudes. When the what curtains the are hell? shut. Yeah, it's like, hey, this is the place to I be. I was like, these guys know how to do it. I thought something fancy was happening. How big nah. is Lesnar, man? Because you're fucking huge, dude. A child compared to him, right? Like, yeah. he, no, seriously, like, he, like he's a big man. You're a, yeah, an yeah. imposing looking dude. Well, you know, I don't and have how um, big what they is call that fucker. Man. I don't have what they call muscles. I'm like country boy big. You know, right? Mr. Street big. street I, big. You just yeah, you just strong cows. Yeah. They call retard strength. Like you just <laughs> exactly. knock me. a building down with your fucking <laughs> actual yeah. Yeah. very uncoordinated look. He's a monster. And it, the scary thing is his arms are so long. How are they that big? You know. He's, he's a monster. Yeah, hell of a when, I, when I first started watching uh, the, the UFC, the, when I I really enjoy uh, that shit, when I first started watching it, they used to just have, you know, if you was a midget that was a 10th degree right. black belt, you yeah. fought you fought a, a giant, giant who was a judo expert. Yeah. But why did that, is that, are they looking to, like, because you got to fight fucking. That's uh, the sport out of it, you know. It's, uh, could you classes. fight, would you fight him if you wanted to? Nah, I mean, if the money was there, sure. I mean, would I would I do well? Would I enjoy well, the rest of my maybe, life? I don't know. <laughs> but I'm saying back in the day, they used to, it used to be, yeah, okay, well, I'm, a, I'm a fucking karate expert, no matter how big I am, and I'm going to fight a guy who's yeah, a fucking... That's what it was when I started. And then they just, it's now just weight classes. Yeah, it's it's like a, an organized sport with rules and regulations. It makes sense now. I like that ring, though. 
I'm all about the pinky ring. I'm Thank you, sir. Yeah, you, you know, like the, the guy that couldn't ring? get laid had a pinky ring. What was that about? Uh, I, <laughs> I figure, seriously, I figure <laughs> a pinky uh, ring. Did it have Frodo Baggins' right? face on it? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking yeah. dorky belt buckle that he was wearing. Well, evidently, I'm the same way, you know. He's, he's like, yeah, he's no, he that thought, son of a bitch, I man. I thought the pinky ring was a good thing. I was like, oh, <laughs> nah, not for I him. thought it was one of those things where, like, if you are a pinky, you must have some swagger. You know, you got something going it on. It doesn't right? work for him. Not at I all. I should steal that from him. Be like, dude, you don't deserve it. Yeah. <laughs> Forrest, the uh, the book here. Be ready when the shit goes down. A survival guide to the apocalypse. So this sounds pretty cool. Yeah, because because it's awesome. It, I it, wanted the title awesome. to be. Uh, you better be ready when the shit goes down. Forrest Griffin's Guide to the Apocalypse and other stories that don't involve bunnies. God bless. Oh, but uh, yeah, they uh, sweet. they said no good on that. Like it would take up the whole thing. But now, what's the gist of this? I guess this isn't uh, a book about um, UFC. <laughs> no, not at all. Please, so but you're... I mean, even if you think it is, buy it and be disappointed. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this is uh, these are some of your ideas. Yeah, your yeah, ideas but, but about I mean, for surviving. What it's, for what it's worth, I've done the research. Oh, you have? Oh, yeah, I'm out This there. isn't just your opinion. Because oh, no, I no, would no. think I would just, like, when, jot when, things down, like, what I think. Yeah, what about it? When work? I get back, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take some more uh, gun classes, learn how to properly nice. break down my rifles and clean them. Yeah. Well, shooting's uh -oh. the easy part. It's, it's all that. Mm -hmm. and, oh, uh, shit. You know, oh, shit. I teamed up with uh, my boy Erish there, and he made me live out in the desert a little bit on nothing. Yeah. So you got to be careful. That's how Evan Tanner died. What's your favorite gun? I, uh, the H and K, the forty five. I also like the Glock uh, forty five a lot. Heckler and Koch, very good gun. <laughs> you have that? Yeah, okay. get out. I have a forty. I have an HK forty. Yeah, my wife's got that. I'm a That's man, a... so I have a forty five. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, I got I got big hands. I need a bigger gun. Girl hands. Uh, All right, look. Hey, this is how awesome. That's what that was my wife's uh, like <laughs> birthday present. I gun. just want to let, yeah, let, let me do it. Let me a do a chick's little explaining. automatic weapon. Let me do a little explaining here. <laughs> First of all, it's a carry gun because it's a little smaller. Yeah, I just it makes carry a gun. I know, carry it fits gun. right in your purse. Uh, fuck <laughs> you, the, ro the Rosa. Hey, is yours? It'll is yours your pink? Fucking mouth. <laughs> is, your, is your wife's gun pink, sir? Is no, it? No, no, no. <laughs> Secondly, I have a. Fuckload of forty fives. No, I love a good cool. forty five fucking Colt custom. Oh, so HK is a f uh, forty five. HK is a forty. They make forty fives. Yeah. yeah, it's a brand. Oh, I thought HK was a. That's the brand. Um, H H K is the on, brand. Come on, you got to start like listening. Smith and Wesson. So where's the fucking weapons? Like, what's how about your your your? Okay, that's, that's your that's favorite. Pistol. That's what a Ti song's about. That's a best pistol. guns. I love Ti. The fact that he got arrested trying to buy automatic weapons. That was like <laughs> I already liked him because he was from Atlanta. And then when he got arrested for that, I was like, that dude's my hero. And his music's pretty good. Automatic weapons. Yeah, yeah, I was like, ah, oh, he's awesome. It's a no-no. <laughs> no, yeah. it's awesome. Uh, I'm still, man, do you know how long does it take? I don't know. New York's stupid. I, I hate it here. But mm. to get automatic weapons, the permits, forever. I got silencers. You can't. Uh, now, where, are you, where you do you live, silencer? though? Nevada. Yeah, Nevada. I thought Nevada. that was a federal yeah. thing. Well, you can't I have I filled out my paperwork, yeah. brother. You can have a silencer. Yeah. You can get automatic weapons, too. But where I live, you have to actually have, like, a storefront property. you got to be a dealer. Yeah, a firearms yeah. dealer with a but, storefront. But I And I can be a firearms dealer, no problem. But you have to have that storefront. Yeah, they can't just. So I'm not going to pay on paper. You also have to have an immovable safe. So, I mean, there's a lot of stuff there. I'm yeah. just like, all right. And then it's a stack of paperwork, too. Well, New I, York how'd you is get a crazy. silencer thing? Is it, is it I just silencers? kept throwing out paperwork and paying, paying the tax stamps. So they finally go, all right, you're allowed to kill somebody in their sleep and sneak no, out the they, house. They're like, like, well, I mean, they're like, yes, if you kill someone, there's no way we won't find you for doing it. That's basically, they're like, all right, you are just already it's caught. fun. Sounds yeah. cool. Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> no, it's great. You can hear it click. Yeah, yeah it's like well, a clicking yeah. sound. You hear, the, you, you hear like you the hear, fucking mechanics of the gun. You hear it strike the bullet. You yeah. Know? You don't, it's, awesome. a, it's not like uh, James Bond, though, where it goes, pew, pew. <laughs> That's like a fake it? sound. No. It's more like a tick, 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 tick. Yeah, yeah. Kind of a sound. It's, yeah. it's, it's I like that noise from the movie. I know. The movie silences sound a lot cooler. But your gun doesn't sound like, like when you shoot your gun, Does it, it doesn't sound like when Indiana Jones shoots his gun, It right? depends on what gun you're shooting. If I'm shooting my faggot H&K 40, <laughs> the, 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 gun of the, the gun of the queer, 
Um, that, uh... <laughs> See, look, that's my fucking carry gun, and he's dissing it. Look at that thing. Does cum come out of it? Uh, <laughs> so what's... It has, hey, your, gun no, has, your gun has a I'm... period. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so where's the man version of that one? Oh, uh, the forty-five. Uh, you're not going to be able to tell too much difference. you got to hold they're, they're, it in your hand. They're pretty the similar, yeah. yeah. But, uh... I, I, have, I have a few 45s. I love those. I have a little... Uh, How do you do yeah, that in New York? That's what's going that on thing. here. Oh, yeah. I filled out a lot of paperwork. Yeah. Uh, Nonsense. All kinds of stuff Nonsense. you got to go through. Yeah. I love it. Love it. Nevada, Las Vegas. Hoops, just walk into a store. Do hey, I like you want to do. Yeah, not here in New York. They're Good. very tricky. And the laws uh, about transporting guns and... Uh, like, I can... I also have a license in Pennsylvania. Yeah. But... I, I'm not allowed to go through Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah so it's it's just, I think... Oh, you uh, can't the I should probably have stay mum on the subject, but I'm going to do what I want to <laughs> do. Yeah, you know what? The Constitution says, uh, has the Second Amendment. Uh, it's supposed to cover the country. What the fuck? Hey, and as we're talking about it, workplace shooting, three dead. All right. See, if somebody in the workplace had a legal gun... That's correct. Uh, maybe uh, they would have taken All the right. guy out. That's what I say. <laughs> what about What about rifles? Yeah, I mean, I got a couple ARs. Yeah, uh, I got a, fun. I got the SL8. I wanted the G36, but it's real hard to come by. Yeah, I'm looking for the uh, Scar right now. That's like the next one. Yeah, that's yeah. The SL8. What's uh? Yeah. Oh shit, oh, that's, that's cool. um. Yeah, that's a good look. Damn, that's, that's about that's HMK. fourth. That's f that's level four. Level four. I wanted the in a yeah. video game. I yeah. wanted the G36, but that's. Tough gun to get. Some of them are hard to get. I just picked up a uh, uh, S hey, SP eighty nine. What's um, the what's the new it's rifle? Like a, it's that like an MP five. Uh, the military is going to a new rifle. What is it? Uh, I was just looking at this. XM nine. Yes, yeah. it is the XM nine. I'm I might to get one of those now. Now you got to get. I know every new one that comes out. I'm like, <laughs> oh, I gotta get that. Oh, yeah. I gotta get. I gotta get that one. But you your know, your baddest gun is the fifty cal, right? Yeah, the Barrett is the sickest fucking gun ever. Yeah. It's the M104, XMA, okay. uh, 50 cal, uh, 10 shot, semi-automatic. And when you fire this thing, I've said it before, it's, it feels like you have the flu yeah. for three seconds. I, I've like shot him a like, couple you're times. You're all yeah, it's fucked a up. It's a concussive Con burst. Yeah, yeah. Snipers get uh, actually get like concussion syndrome. They get knocked out a lot when they shoot them. Actually. Yeah, it's not like a... Uh, it's not it's because the kick. Your, yeah, it's your brain is liquid. Yeah, and yeah, it actually no, this is true. It's yeah. actually shaking the liquid that is your brain because your it, brain's mostly. It one. feels like you're you're ready to get a nosebleed <laughs> if you find too many we, rounds. We were it's shooting funny. one and it blew. I had like full bottles of water and it just blew them off. Oh, the table. Oh, blows them off like, the table. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's like, shoot, yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, shoot I don't really metal need that. plates. I don't, I don't. We're you shooting like a barrel. You I'm don't like, really no, need them, but they're just fun to fucking yeah. shoot. I'm trying to think like. When am I going to be shooting through a car? Yeah. Do I need this? But you know what? If you ever have to, look at you talking about your book here. Hey, uh, in, during, I'm out in the desert. My, my solution is to go apocalypse. far away from people. Yeah. Yeah, you see a fucking vehicle start pulling up. You're going to want to disable that uh, that engine. That is true. A Barrett would be perfect for it. Yeah, I've actually yeah. heard. Yeah. yeah, that's great. What Joe about, uh, oh, by the way. Uh, as Does far this guy as, over here just research whatever you're talking about? Yes, he pops on. That guy's Danny's the best. They, they popping shit up. It's pretty awesome. This oh, guy's, that's the uh, Barrett it. right there. That's yeah. shit. What, hey, uh, yeah, why don't you crank am that I up? am I correct? Right. The guy that that I shoot, his uh, he said it's four bucks a shot. How much does it cost? Four dollars and fifty cents per four shot. And fifty yeah. cents. It's uh, uh, for, for a bullet. Uh, yeah, yes, per sir. Bullet yeah, I don't gun. need that. I don't need that gun. <laughs> Dan, it's like <laughs> oh, Dan. Jesus fucking Christ! Felt like I was being shot. I mean, you, stand, you, you just said you just said so, but if you you know you stand you know in the direction of that suppressor, like you're feeling the entire thing. And it just kind of hits you in the chest. Yeah, it, it blew like I said. It blew like you know, yeah, this, water bottles off the deck. The suppressor know. directs the blast back at about a forty-five degree angle behind you. So if people are standing next to you, they get more of the shit than you do. Yeah, yeah. you kind of don't realize it, but being on the side of that thing is yeah. not the best place to be. Yeah, I wouldn't. I, w I would be behind so, that. Yeah, directly behind gun. is the best. It's a great, great fun gun to shoot though. And during the apocalypse or zombie invasion, uh, I would want to have those for the long range. But now you're talking about pistols. Uh, the 45, that's great. Big manly gun. But let me tell you about my Desert Eagle. Yeah. The 50 cal Desert Eagle. Yeah. That's a fucking gun. 
You know that's that is a, a that man's is a, gun. That is a great gun. <laughs> that is a great gun for a guy with a small penis that has to do some overcompensation. <laughs> Look, you have a small gun, a big gun. He, what about a Walther PPK? <laughs> Does that mean I have a giant cock and I don't have it, to compensate? You're secure. Yeah, <laughs> I feel good about myself. I, you know, again, I just don't need the. Uh, Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Keep going, but, uh, you have questions? I've seen. I was saying. I've seen this picture a couple of times. I'm actually glad you're here. I don't. I'm trying to figure. Is that a? Is that real? That's the bedspread. So they sent me that bedspread. What is that, Patrice? I don't know. It's just like people that make a bedspread with like hot chicks making out on it. Oh, and I use oh, it for a, a while. Oh, it's a bread. That's not your wife. No, no, oh. no. no. Oh, I that was, was, I, look, did you hey, see this picture? Be a lot cooler if it was, but it's Dude. not. That's now I got to look through the pictures. Yeah. I, I love books okay. with pictures okay. in them. I know you do. Fucking books with pictures. I can, I can make it. Yeah. I know. I hate words. Oh shit, that's funny. Yeah, words are hard. Uh, wow. Yeah, that that's kind of cool. This chick's making out on. This a is a very spread. fucking gonna be bought book, by the way. This is very. Uh, when somebody just does this, and it's the way you, the way yeah. that you Well, you're... you know, I front-loaded it. The first 50 pages, well, 30 or 40 pages, pretty good. And then it sucks, and then the end's strong. So, this is I really, I know how to write a book. It's like a movie, you know? The middle's not that important, what, really. Uh, what? A couple of pictures of you with different faces doing, like, it's a, there's a book I had one time called The uh, Boys, The Boys Book. Shows you how to tie Dangerous knots. Dangerous book for boys. Yes, yes. Yeah. Tie knots, do this. It's, this is like kind of. It's not the same, but I'm saying it's yeah. like you look at it. Yeah, and go, oh, no, okay. I'll buy yeah, this. Good. Like how to make a pocket pussy. Was that in the famous book of boys? Because that's in my book. <laughs> oh, that is because you're gonna need that. Yeah, I mean, you know. What? Uh, what? Or, what do or you th- prison pussy, whatever you prefer. What do you think will be the this apocalypse? What do you think will cause the shit going down? What, well, what, what is the shit? I've got a lot of theories, but yeah. um, look at it this way. And this is. You know, quasi-realistic. Think about it. Uh, you got so many people using so much shit. And mm-hmm. I know you do it, too. You drive to the drive-thru. Oh, you yeah. eat your food in your little cardboard container. And then, like me, after I've eaten too much food and consumed too much, I go in an air-conditioned gym and run on an electric treadmill mm-hmm. and use more energy to get rid of the energy I already over-consumed. And we got 300 million people doing this. It's, I mean... Uh, it reminds me. In, in the economy, on. they call it exactly. In the economy, <laughs> they call it a correction. There's too many people using too much shit. It's got to come to an end sooner or later. Mm-hmm. I'm just getting ready. And then, so what, whatever the shit is, it could well, be. You look at look at disease this outbreak. I it think could be. I think we're going to lose our credit rating as a country because mm-hmm. our deficit's so high. We're actually no longer a safe investment. And when we lose that credit rating, what are we? Just a just a dude with a big gun that's mm. broke. And, uh, that's, but that's, that's the thing that's going to keep us from thing. being Rome, though. See, that's the thing. People always compare this to Rome. The yeah, difference yeah. between Rome and, and America is Rome didn't have the threat to go, all right, since we're not who we are anymore, I'm going to just blow the whole world up. Well, <laughs> Like, I'm going to kill yeah. everybody. Yeah. yeah. That Rome work couldn't out. do that. That didn't work for Russia. But no one, no one is willing to destroy the whole earth. Plus, the theory of e- <laughs> economy. We're willing to destroy the whole earth. We we're just are, doing it slowly. We, th- yes, America has proven that they will fucking do something really foul. Yeah. Russia, foul. Th- that was fucking genius. With that such a short amount of time, coming up with two bombs. Those fucking that Japanese war? people still with Amazing. children with seven eyes. Fuck them. Oh, no, fuck. What they did, <laughs> they started it. They started so you don't it, believe yeah. in the, the I in the pop so never go for that shit. He started it. He started it. So you believe in the the uh, the, the the nature's theory, like meaning like an asteroid or a fucking no the, no 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 these People, volcanoes. No, 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 we're doing it. I mean, the planet might cleanse itself every now and again, right, but right, it's right. us. There's going to be a correction. I'm hoping there's race too many war. people doing too much shit. Yeah, you know, I'm waiting for a race war. Yeah. I think that's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, that was more like a 70s health yeah. type deal. That's, that's I, mean, like, I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be like I mean, I don't know. I don't know, fucking... I don't know if you're yeah. writing old dude in prison, but I don't think that one worked out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Charlie Nance was happen. wrong. No, nah, no. Nah, Anything that guy said was probably wrong. Yeah. Me, on the other hand, I'm a modern day prophet. I th- oh, so you kind of got this shit down. You it's, know, I mean, it's, it's going to happen. I know it's happening, and, and I've discussed how and why. Like what I said, we're going to lose our credit rating. People won't load us money. We're fucked. We yeah, all but then we're credit. fucked as a country. So what? They'll we'll just be do chaos. something stupid in order to yeah. save ourselves, like a last exactly. ditch effort. Yes, and we'll fuck up. I think we should start hiring our military out. 
Oh, that's kind of a good idea. Make a lot of money. We, we got, got some military. of the best shit. Yeah. So, and then we can just not. No reason letting that go to pot. I'm just flipping through this book. Forrest is a cool. fucking dangerous guy, man. He's oh, like, oh fuck yeah. So he's well versed in like in firearms. He fucking can mm. fight like with his fists. It's like he's he's really. And I'll have a you know, fucking I've, movie star. I've burned myself with a lighter for 16 seconds. Holy. On shit. your hand or arm or whatever. Right, right. That that giant scar right there. 16 seconds. It's harder than you think. And when you start smelling your own flesh going, oh, fuck. My, Come on. my last fight, I asked the doctor not to uh, give me the anesthesia before the stitches. He wouldn't. He gave me. He still gave me the number. You wanted to feel I just wanted to be. A, I just up. wanted to tell the story of being a hard ass. Now you, you I saw Matt Hoffman stitching himself up, and I saw this kid, uh, <laughs> Tommy Sauer, who actually has Tourette's. He's, he used to be a fighter. Real good fighter back in. He's one of those guys. He made it before the sport made it, mm -hmm. so he got nothing out of it. Yeah, <laughs> he's yeah, like there were a few he, of those guys. Yeah, you know, one of those guys like fucking the Jens Pulver, but he didn't even make it that far, you know. And uh, he has Tourette's, and it's, but it, but when he and then he's he's stitching my face up after a fight, and he has Tourette's, <laughs> and then you know I wouldn't let him do that except right before he stitched me, he stitched himself. So I was like, all right, this dude's legit. Would you be you without the sport? Like, meaning all the stuff you're into now, would you be? Yeah, I mean, I'd be a weird dude. Yeah, I mean, if that's what you mean. <laughs> no, I wasn't going mean, to fucking say weird. I, 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 be, <laughs> I didn't I say mean, weird. I mean, as a, just the stuff that you're No, I'd be, I'd be a weird dude, but it was the weirdness that led me to the sport of fighting, you know? It was like, ah, fighting people, that seems cool. <laughs> and I didn't, like, for me, it was always more of a fight club thing. Now these dudes are professional fucking athletes. This is craziness. You know, I just want to make sure I can whoop somebody's ass on the street and stab them in the throat. What's the, what's the worst yeah. UFC guy movie you've seen since that, since you guys have been being in the movies? <laughs> How many I'll tell you been? mine. I'll tell you what. A lot. I've seen ton. one and it's, I it was saw bad. Red Belt. Red Belt was the only one I saw. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, they, they get a lot of little parts and other stuff. I think that Scorpion King was pretty bad, right? I never saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Oleg Tiktar's done great, you know? Oleg has been in some good fucking he's shit. He's been in some great films. Well, he was just in Predator, uh, Pre the new Predator. Predator. He was in, he's been in a ton of Another stuff. Another one called 15 Minutes. It was great. He was like the star of that. Right? I like 15 Minutes. That's a good movie, With De Niro? Man. Yeah, yeah, when he gets stabbed, that's a good movie. I didn't like that movie. I saw you know what? You don't like it because it doesn't have a good ending. It has a kind of a lingering ending, and the guy dies, and it's weird, and you think the movie's over, but it keeps going. I didn't which, even uh, get to the end. I watched, like, the first 15 minutes, <laughs> actually, and I was like, this you know, movie stinks. All you can sit through. <laughs> well, that's because De Niro gets stabbed, and it's just too hard to watch De Niro not live through a fucking yeah. movie, so you get a little attached to that shit. Yeah. I saw Rich Franklin in something that was a it was a Universal Soldier. Yeah, I didn't see it. It was like he was a robot. Uh, yeah, it was bad. Soldier. Oh, I'm, I'm taking it. <laughs> bad. You know <laughs> Pretty bad. Yeah, you know who's actually good? Uh, Andre Orlovsky. It's because you know you can't really understand what the fuck he's saying anyway. <laughs> what was he in? <sighs> he was in some fucking. It was a Universal Soldier type deal. It was yeah, really they're good, all though. they're all that kind of movie. Yeah, it's I want like, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. that shit. I it's know. the future. How See, long I before got, I got a real good spot? I got. Uh, I hope they serve beer in hell. Just a little cameo because I like the book. How long before one of you guys does one of those? Like you know, he's a spy on his toughest mission yet, babysitting. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I I make fun of those guys all day long. Like. You remember when The Rock used to... I thought he was going to be the next Arnold Schwarzenegger. You remember that? Yeah. I bear, I vaguely remember that. You then remember... He did the tooth You remember... Thing. You know who I'm mad at? Because I really... Matthew McConaughey. He did Frailty. He was awesome. He did that Dragon movie. He was awesome in it. The movie wasn't great, but he was awesome in it. Right. And now he, he, he like... He, he keeps and making... Chick flicks. He keeps making movies with the, with the, the blonde broad. Yeah, I mean, stink. stop. Stop. They yeah. stink. You know, you lost me. And they're, they're really completely... Uh, but masculating. you know what? You know what? Yeah. Yes, but you know, paychecks are cashing, brother. Just totally emasculating a guy <laughs> like that. But I mean, it, it, that, it always goes back to that. To that, but in reality, what you're saying about the Rock, it, it's like you go, man. Can you just do something where you can use the charisma kind of thing that you have? Because these fucking kid Maybe movies. Maybe John Cena will do it. It's John Cena. <laughs> John Cena's acting's not great, but if you see like interview, like non wrestling stuff, he's got a great personality. Like he's a funny, well, charismatic. Well, his movies guy. are theoretically yeah. bad, but they're not. Though. Yeah, yeah. Like they're the, watchable. Right? Theoretically, they're, well, meaning they again, should be Universal Soldier type stuff, though. No, well, what, it's like he's a okay. He's always a for some reason a in his prime retired 
Navy Naval. SEAL. He's a 22 year old retired, so he has to be like a a fucking. He has to be. He works at McDonald's now. Yeah. And then someone tries to steal like some yeah. buns in the back. And he uses no, some of that fucking <laughs> shit he learned in the SEAL. So basically, the under siege all over again. Right. Yeah. Under siege. So they got to make up some shitty backstory about why he retired at 22. Yeah. <laughs> and it's I always lost like too many men in that last one. It's always somebody yeah. fucking their kid dies some or their kid wife dies, dies accidentally. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. He, Come up with something new. He goes out and he was a fucking like uh, just a loner no. for five years. But you know years the and... thing is like we keep buying that crap they keep yeah. making the same crap and i keep going and seeing yeah. it thinking it's going to be different why well that's not? why man when when you talk about the rock when he went into movies and shit i remember that time when when it was supposed to be that he was going to be this next action hero but i remember not being that excited about it because you know you're like they're not going to let it happen <laughs> they're not going to make commando with the rock it's going to be shitty and it fucking was yeah. except walking tall was the one where i was yeah. like yeah, yeah this is cool like, he's yeah, kicking the shit out of potential. everybody you're like oh this could go somewhere but yeah, you know they're not going to have predator people up with the rock, you know what? Speaking of Predator, real quick, I, yeah. I went, I walked out of Predators in the theater. The new Whoa. one, yeah, it's fucking. Well, you don't stay in movies, do you? Dude, no, no, but you know no. why? But he's no, I, I, over here. I yeah. was excited. Here we go. I was excited to see it. I was excited to see it. I went in. I left because Predator One. Thirty minutes into the fucking movie, this one predator is taken out. Jesse Ventura, <laughs> Carl yeah. Weathers, it damn near kills Schwarzenegger. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. The, plan. the new one. There's four it. fucking predators halfway through the movie. What Everybody's this, this, alive, this, including Adrian fucking Brody. <laughs> is still but, alive. But you know what? Four fucking but hold predators. up. You hear what he's mad at, right? Yeah. It's like why not be mad at the fact. That they're on another planet. That part, <laughs> like, part like, me too. Why can't you put the the suspension of disbelief on the fact that? No, I thought it was good. Fucking, You're wrong. It's I, like I Alien. Like, I like that. Do you know this? Like Alien, the first Alien, alien ruled, yeah. it kills everybody. The second one, they're like, oh, they just die easy now. All of a sudden, yeah. And you know what? I hate mm -hmm. when the movie changes its tone. Like halfway through, one yeah. killed everybody. Yeah, the rules And then change. like a hundred of them can't kill ten people. Yeah, you it's know? annoying. That part did bother me in Predators when they realize they're on another planet and they just go. All right, clearly we're not on Earth. Let's get our thoughts together. <laughs> yeah, no, but I mean, what are you going to do? You would have a fucking stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, you wanted it to be real? How about if every movie was real, it'll be five seconds. No. The predator yeah. that killed them? Listen. The predator dogs would have killed them? Like, listen. Like, like, not, not real, but take a, <clears throat> just take two minutes and take it all in. And have really, a, like, have some realistic, holy no, fuck, no. I'm on another Can I planet. A book yeah. question? MTV yeah. Generation. We don't have two minutes, son. You got 15 seconds. Yeah. Oh, it stinks, Fire away, sir. <laughs> um... This guy, Big John. Yes. I, I can't find where I need like the, the actual info on it. Yeah. But is this guy Big? Di, di, was he an in, a really in condition Big John at some point? And then he. Oh was, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he was. There should be a picture of him all jacked up. It, there's one. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. So, so this is he? What is he? A, 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 he's an uncle or well, a no, friend? He or? was my best friend. He passed away. Actually. Oh, he died. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, the book's dedicated to him. It was one of those things. He was gonna come on the book tour with me because he's. He, he, everybody's got that one person that is just such a fool that they can make you bring that out of you. And he was that guy for me. So a lot of the stories are about him, were told by him. He also had a real good memory. Like, he remembers all these ludicrous things we've done, you know, whereas I intentionally forget them. What did he pass away from? I'm not 100% sure. You know, it was probably like uh, just a buildup of drugs, perhaps. Oh, know? so he, was, he had a crazy life. Yeah, okay. I mean, obviously, he had a crazy life. All right, so because he's because he's prominent, and I didn't, I'm, I I yeah, didn't read well, he, it, but yeah, I'm looking no, at it. he was my best friend, and actually, you know, the book was done, and uh, you know, then he ended up passing away right uh, at the end there. So, well, there you go. Good. Sorry, bro. Good, good. Oh, no worries. It's uh, hey, look at it this way: we're all gonna die. Everybody. Who's your, who's your best friend in the game? Not, not you. In the Would, game, in, the, in fighting. Uh, well, you know, whatever, whatever. You know who's your? Yeah. I, I know you have this guy. Big John was your best friend, but yeah. it's like who's? Well, I like uh, Tim Crater, Gray Maynard, uh, Mike Pyle, Jay Heron. Those are the people I train with. Tyson Griffin, you know, these are my buddies. You know. Cool man. What about Be people uh, I would call? feel comfortable calling if I needed a ride somewhere or was yeah. like drunk in jail hey can you bail me out <laughs> you have a mentor at all not really no. not that I know of okay. I mean I, my stepdad pops he's pretty awesome you know okay 
I actually had two stepdads. One one passed away, and uh, they're both crazier than shit. My mom had weird tasting dudes. Really? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> so I love it. I love it though. You know. What's uh? I got getting back to the book, of course, surviving uh, the apocalypse. Uh, apocalypse here. Uh, what would you think is like the most important thing to to making it through a catastrophe? Well, obviously, a global catastrophe. Luck, obviously, depending on you know whatever. But I'd say clean water. Clean water. Clean water. Doesn't sound very exciting. It's not like lopping heads off with machetes and stuff. Yeah, what's I mean, what's the longest you've ever gone with like desalinization tablets? And have you actually ever tried to make it out anywhere without clean water? Uh, no, we toted some in. I stayed in the Mojave Desert for about ten days. And yeah, yeah. Well, we were trying to find. You know, this is how. Uh, oh man, there's what's the name? There's some stuff in the book about him too. Uh, what's the name? He died out in the fucking UFC guy. Evan Tanner, oh. thank you. Good friend of mine. Can't remember his name, but no, it was, it was, it was an acquaintance, not a friend. But, but uh, yeah, that's how he passed away, you know. And you, we'll we'll go out there like where we think the water is, and and hopefully it we you know put the stuff in it, and hopefully it's drinkable. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, water. You don't realize so, how so important is that fucking is. A, is it real? Can you drink out of a lake? That shit is dirty. You can't do that. Like no. Yeah, more. you can. Sometimes you can get away with it. Sometimes you get you know bacteria that 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 wipe your system out, and sometimes you can adapt. Can you can you do it with a Brita? No bullshit. Like can you <laughs> clean that water up with a Brita if you had a Brita? It will take out some impurities, but I don't oh. think it takes out bacteria. They got tablets. They got those yeah, little that's fucking what we stir use the tablets. Those stir fucking lights. <laughs> You put the light in there and stir it with some fucking what the fuck ultraviolet is that? light. It kills. Really? It kills. It's killing stuff. Yeah. In there. Yeah. I never even. I didn't know that existed. It's the well, future. you won't be surviving the apocalypse now, no, will yeah. you? I'd, I'd be the, the first the one dead in thing. this room yeah. without question. Boiling helps. Yeah, Boil, boiling's good. But boiling yeah. doesn't kill everything. Yeah, most everything. Yeah, I would do it. You could drink. Well, I'd drink boiled water. And so can you pull off one of those um the Bear Grylls show? Like if we drop you in a. I'd love to. Could I? I mean. I mean, saying would you be into that shit, dude? I would just do the easiest thing. I'd eat the fucking cameraman. <laughs> That's I mean, I was just constantly drinking That's his own sarcasm piss. because it's like, you go, dude, there's camera guys. Like, you just go, yeah. there's one guy that tapes himself, which you almost go, that's yeah. fucking. Yeah, the guy that just sets up his own shots oh, and walks by. You know, his his eyes is all camera. fucked up from the dark you know, survivor, the, man. The thing is, yeah. that dude, he's so legit. The thing about him is, uh, first of all, he could really die out there. There's nobody. You know, Bear Grylls, the guys obviously will radio in. All right, the shit's gone too far. He's fucked up, whatever. But the Survivor man, it, he doesn't even get the good stuff on film. You know, it's just like he's, yeah, because he's, he's, he's busy he, doing it. He like he like like shows him there's a huge hole in his leg. He's like, I fell down. <laughs> I fell down. It was horrible. Uh, uh, it was very traumatic. I don't you know how far I fell. I think it was about this. thirty feet. He's not like yeah. even exaggerating. If it just flashes to me and there's a huge hole in my leg, I'm like, I fell one thousand feet, guys. I was hanging by bridge. Like I'm gonna elaborate. He like, misses everything. Uh, I fast, fell. Though. It was probably about thirty feet. Uh, yeah, he's. I think I might have hypothermia now, and my legs bleeding profusely. I put a tourniquet on. Let me explain the tourniquet. And I'm like, you're awesome. That's that's a functional mind. Yeah, that's that's a survivor's guy. mind. You know, he's really out there. Like he's like his concern yeah. is not the fact there's a huge hole in his leg, but all right, I, how do I solve this problem? I put this tourniquet on. Yeah. You know, yeah, guys, I'm sorry I didn't have time to light this shot appropriately. I yeah. just had to eat some rocks. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's like it's, so it's, it's not that TV, fun to watch because yeah. you can't even tell what the hell's going on. You're like, right what in is their he face, doing? the camera uh, just showing his eyes. Ah, uh, about. 35 below zero out there. Yeah. I'm underneath a piece of tin foil. Uh, it would be the best. It would be the best if he was like shooting in his backyard. Hey, yeah, <laughs> just like, you catch it, a glimpse it, of the house. It panned out, and there's like, you know, it's just like in the middle of the suburbs in the his backyard. His pool. Yeah. Well, that's, right? that's the debate with those guys. Survivor Man is like the fucking, you know, he's the. Uh, you know, the rock and roll indie, you yeah, know, yeah. I'm fucking doing this for real. Fuck this good looking Bear, Bear Grylls, Grylls going on the, Oprah, the asshole. Corporate guy. You yeah. Know? yeah. The corporate sponsor. They, they it's they like Twister. something to offer. It's like, <laughs> it's like, well, it's like yeah. the movie Twister, man. It's right. not the cool groovy group. It's the black SUV guys. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But, and then look, they but got the scooped fact up is, in the it's a lot exactly. more fun to watch the Bear Grylls show because of the camera, etc. Yeah, Survivor it's Man's it's a guy insane. telling you about cool shit happening. I can get that anywhere. You can you know? see it's like Bear a dude Grylls walking. drink his own piss. Yeah, you can see Bear Grylls like climbing on shit, building a hut. You know, 
Yeah, I just built a house out of my own shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't have time to shoot that. <laughs> uh, where, where would you uh, Where would you go to to hide out from from? People? Well, I mean, just you got to go somewhere local to where you live. You know, I live in Vegas, so I just go out to the desert. I'd say that's now that's part of the where you live thing. What if What if you're in a major metropolis, what, New York City area? I want to get the fuck out. Yeah. Quickly, yeah. 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 I mean, you here. don't want to be in a, you know, anything pandemic disease wise, loss of, uh, we start losing antibiotics, et cetera. Shit's going to be bad in that anywhere densely populated. It's bad. A lot of disease. We were talking about Rome, the, the collapse. That was part of the problem with it. A densely population, you know, each other's own feces and vomit, germs, mm. you know. Sexy. <laughs> you don't want to be there. You want to be, no, be out on your own. You, you know, animals don't transmit. Like this is dirtier than the middle of the woods, because we here, all I won't transmit the same with... viruses. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, it comes out everybody oh, ass. Well, well, ass. well, hey, <laughs> when these, somebody in this motherfucker's sick. I want to know who it is. Things, when these fucking things close, there's no telling how dirty it gets in here. You know? Yeah, you know the air. I don't know. I don't know how it's filtering.